Welcome everybody. We are here for the Vassal League Deep Core Championship. And uh move my camera so it's gonna take some getting used to, but welcome. Uh Sci Fighter here joined by Super Spud. Um yet again. We're gonna be commentating through this uh top four match in the Deep Core versus Psycho Eleven and uh Reinhardt. We've got a couple interesting lists, um, definitely not something you see out in the meta right now, but uh, I think they're both actually really strong. How's it going there, Super Spoon? You are still muted. Aha! You know, better to get the, uh, the technical difficulty glitch out of the way early. Uh, but I'm doing do great. It is uh, great to be here, and I'm excited to uh, see this first of the playoff matches. So uh, let's get to it. All right. Well, why don't you run us through Reinhardt's scum list? Yes, it, it is a very scummy list as well. Uh, near and dear to my heart, by the way. Uh, thanks for putting it together, Reinhardt. Uh, he's starting off with a Asajj Ventress, who's flying a Lancer class Pursuit Craft. Uh, she has Push the Limit, Rigged Cargo Shoot, Lots Razi, and Burnout Slam. Now, this is not your normal Asajj uh, build that we've seen in 1.0 for so long now. Uh, uh, adding uh, Push the Limit gives uh, multiple actions. Uh, Lots Razi's always there to kind of give a little bit of defense. Uh, but what I'm really interested in here is, is in the illicit slot there is no glitter stim at all and uh, so this is yeah, definitely going away walk. yeah definitely going away from time walk assage uh, i love the rig, rig cargo shoot idea you can drop that thing out uh, add some stress add some debris uh, and then with push the limit it's a great way to to drop that out and still get an action uh, and then of course burnout slam giving you the chance to really move quickly around uh, the board um, depending on what uh, what he is up against um, and we'll see what he's up against pretty quick and I think that burnout slam might come into play uh, pretty well uh, then we got Thweak Star Viper uh, this is kind of your normal Thweak uh, he's got auto thrusters uh, fire control system Star Viper Mark II which gives uh, gives him three extra points and of course the Virago title as well um, uh, this is a great Thweak a uh, way to boost your pilot skill up to match those of your opponent's uh, strongest PS uh, pilot skill ship. And so uh, so that tweak is gonna going to be really solid today, I think, as well. And then, of course, uh, Nadru uh, in a Z95 Headhunter with uh, Veteran Instincts to boost him up to 9. Uh, Star Viper uh, Mark II title. Uh, the Vera or sorry, the Harpoon Missiles. Uh, glitter stim and some guidance chips so maybe trying to get a little bit of an alpha strike with uh, those harpoon missiles at the beginning uh, we'll see how they set up and go for it definitely definitely those uh, harpoons are been just been so nasty since they came out everybody's you know so thrilled whenever they see them um, oh yeah I'm pretty sure you know, like you said we'll see the pilot skill jump of the week we don't see a whole lot of the uh, mimicked condition trying to grab other people's pilot abilities um, so it'll be interesting um, if Asajj can leverage her stress potential and just be pushing out stress to everybody. Um, it, the, uh, the Imperials, as an Imperial player, I know that stress is just never a good thing. Um, you never want to be taking stress, especially when you've got an Aces list um, like uh, Psycho's got here. So we've got Ty Kylo Ren and Tithe Silencer. It's got push the limit advanced sensors, first order vanguard, and the auto thrusters. Um, so ditching the uh, advanced uh, optics, just probably a need for some points. Um, we see kind of a thinner uh, quick draw as well. Quick draw's got adaptability, um, spec ops training, fire control, and lightweight frame. So no tech and no missile on quick draw. Um, but all that gives you enough points for countdown, which is uh, just a pain in the butt little striker that uh, you can only damage it so much um, because of its ability to just negate everything take a stress in a single damage and uh, and start counting down that hole um, if you can't get multiple shots in a round it's gonna take four full-on shots to uh, get through that thing and with lightweight frame sometimes you can just flat out evade it anyway and you don't have to utilize that ability um, the adaptive ailerons also becoming uh, uh, kind of a staple now that we've got the Reaper out and uh, the ailerons on there. Everybody's kind of finding the potential that uh, the speed that those give you. Um, 
it's it's uh, a lot of familiar pieces all brought together, I think. Um, and Psycho's flown this a few times, and most of his wins come from this list, so I had a feeling he might bring this. Um, his run through the Vast League uh, was mostly Imperial. He had one uh, Rebel match that he lost, but uh, all of his wins were with this kind of a list. Um, and the more he strayed from it, the more likely he became to lose. So I was, was kind of expecting to see this out of him. Um, but we will see. We're starting to get ships set down. Uh, Psycho was given initiative due to Reinhardt's 98-point uh, bid. Um, so when it comes to uh, Thweek being Thweek, uh, <laughs> definitely going to be able to move last, barrel roll right in the right position, and do whatever Thweek needs to uh, get done. Um, looks like Reinhardt's on the right side, starting to set up now. Um, what do you think about these rocks? Not a lot of lanes. It's all clustered towards the right-hand side there. Um, yeah, I'm noticing that. Definitely a nice, uh, nice little pocket in the middle there. I'm wondering um, who's who's really wanting that. Uh, you know, like where where do we want the battle to to go from? You know, do you want the battle to to be in that large area of space so you can move around? I would think probably Thweek would want that. Maybe uh, Kylo Ren also would like that to be able to get into weird spots around their opponent. Maybe be able to flank them somehow. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of see who uses that to their advantage, or um, are there guys that are wanting to get um, in into the rocks and get in the mix of it to uh, maybe make their opponent make a mistake, maybe land on a rock. Uh, so we'll see how this first engagement goes um, to kind of determine is the are the rock placements there for a deterrent uh, for the uh, for the other folks or uh, for your opponent, or are the rocks there? Um, as a, a no-fly zone, so we can have that, have all that happen in that big, giant, empty space in the top left. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm seeing. Is a, a, you've got a couple lanes you can kind of sneak through. You can come this way. You can come here. But uh, Asajj is really going to want to stay on the outside of uh, the rocks because uh, if you start hitting things or, or bumping, you're going to get in a position where you can't turn your arc, and now you're unable to leverage your uh, your stress um, handouts or uh, even just rotate your arc so you can fire all the time um, so she's lining up actually kind of straight through to go through that little pathway uh, towards the bottom of the screen the bottom of the middle I suppose come through here and maybe break out around I would think to come down towards the bottom of the map uh, so she can just set her mobile arc in one direction and then just leave it <laughs> as long as possible yeah, I mean, I could also see uh, see Reinhardt using a feint of some kind. Maybe, you know, see where he uh, puts his ships and either cut hard right or cut hard left uh, again to set up that mobile arc mm -hmm. um, in the position he wants. So he could come through the rocks like that, or or even just go around them. You know, um, maybe try to drag uh, the Imperialists through it. Yeah, and the Imperials definitely want their actions. All of them really need it. Uh, hang on, just a second. Kiddos. So, um, yeah, as an Imperial player, I know how the importance of the actions for the Imperial side. Um, you don't really want to be get caught out, especially with Kylo Ren having pushed the limit himself. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get caught with a double stress, um, <laughs> it's going to be hard to get out of there and stay alive. So, uh, Kylo's going to want to be hanging at range 3 of Asajj until... Um, he gets in a nice position to come out of arc or, or something like that where he can uh, make an approach, um, which is good for his auto thrusters, but it's bad for mm -hmm. his damage potential. Um, he, he doesn't hit extremely hard. Um, you have quick draw and countdown that can get in nice and close and don't mind taking a shot or two. So we'll have to see uh, kind of how this goes, but quick draw also doesn't have advanced optics, so... Um, <laughs> not able to keep that uh, focus token from round to round if you needed it. Yeah, that's very true. I do like uh, this, even though it's a slim down quick draw, I like the fact that um, it is 
P P both of them are PS9, so it gives him some options when we get in the thick of things, mm -hmm. who he wants to move first, right? Um, to maybe clear some space with one of them for the other ship, um, and so I think it gives him some versatility instead of just going straight for VI, right? Yeah. Uh, and having a veteran instincts to boost him to um, uh, to to higher pilot skill. Well, here's an interesting thing with the adaptability. Usually people are pretty much always going up unless you want to match pilot skills with your own ships um, but uh, we're actually seeing Psycho go down PS because uh, it brings Thweek down to an 8 so Thweek will not be Ooh. the last to move Kylo uh, will have that position secured uh, right, uh, going right before Nadru mm -hmm. so uh, Thweek will actually be going kind of in the middle of the pack okay interesting choice all the Imperial ships are getting to be placed, the scum ships are placed, and we are going to be underway here. Round one commencing. May the force be with both players. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. Um, Alright, so if you had a first target out of the Imperials, who do you pick to go for? Uh, do you go for a quick draw, try to take those shields down nice and quick? Uh, Kylo's a pain to have around in the end game, um, mm -hmm. and at the same time, countdown. Uh, you've got to start working on him early because it takes so long just to knock him out. Well, I think it depends on how the game opens up here. Uh, my thought would be if I can get all guns on quick draw, just try to burn those shields down real quick. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, you know, the hard part is doing that and then not getting as many shots back. But if you can do it in one round and just take one extra shot. Um, then that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, that's true. That's true. And you could e even just take out the shields and then switch to another target. Now that quick draws a less of a threat. Um, well, yeah, and and with uh, with Thweek having to go, uh, you know, after quick draw, but but before Kylo, mm -hmm. um, that's going to make things. Uh, a little bit more difficult to really pin down where Kylo's going to go, um, and he's he's a, he's an agile ship. If if for some reason he gets in a bad spot, um, you could try to take him out. But uh, Countdown's just going to be that guy that just stays around. Um, yeah. You don't want to shoot the harpoon at him. Uh, <laughs> you know you're going to yeah, try. Yeah, that'd be a waste. It. Yeah, I mean I I would see Nadru maybe a saw maybe trying to get a kill box on uh, on quick draw and get that harpoon off there. Um, but we'll see see how that goes. What if you're the Imperial player as uh, dials are going down here? What are you trying to take out? Um, coming from the Imperial side, I would say I would go after Asajj first. Hang on just a second. There we go. Um, I would go after probably Asajj. That stress mechanic is so brutal, um, especially for ships that really need their actions. I mean. If Countdown misses a focus here and there, that's totally fine. But if you uh, if you start losing actions with Kylo or or Quick Draw, um, getting double stressed on a sloop or or pushing the limit with Kylo, that can just end the day real fast. Um, uh, so I would I would say going for Asajj, and she's not the time walk that we uh, that we've all seen before. Um, so. It'll be interesting to see if, if he goes for that. If you can take that out in a Drew fast enough to uh, maybe avoid a missile shot or something like that, <laughs> that's not a terrible way to go. Nadru does hit really hard for that alpha strike. But um, after that, mm, you, you can kind of just let him be. It's a Z95. Um, not the worst thing to have up on the board. Thweek can be a pain, uh, but since Kylo gets to go after now, um, we'll... Uh, We'll have to see kind of how it plays out, the target priorities, but uh, Kylo doesn't mind facing a Thweek that's going before him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. And with uh, with Asajj, this, it's not a, a horrible ship to go after, like you said, first, because it's not your normal time walk. Um, you know, without without those uh, those glitter stims, um, it definitely can put some damage through. And Psycho's got right, there's, a there's cheering a faint, section in there's a... the chat already. Mm -hmm. So coming up uh, actually towards Kylo, um, not a bad way to go if you can knock him out. Mm -hmm. uh, I I can when I'm creating the list boxes, but I actually can't 
take down the opacity uh, at this point and I'd have to go in props up windows all over the place and um, I try to leave them where you can still see they're out towards the edges of the map I know that they, they get uh, they get in the way a little bit sometimes I see exactly what you're saying though psycho we'll have to definitely get that worked on for our next one uh, or uh, S, S, sorry s41x so if we're going up after Kylo, knock him out early while you've got enough guns to do so. Um, that's probably a smart move. Um, you can save quick draw for a little while, especially if you're getting the uh, the stress dished out. We go in, looks like for a curved barrel roll to the right and forward. That curved barrel roll. Um, mm -hmm. That's been cool. It's it's really made the Star Vipers into a ship that can get in there real close and knife fight and get uh, get around everybody and uh, Thweek trying to be a phantom and, and cloak or something here I, I think he's just <laughs> ghosting it to uh, maybe help line things up um, so let's see if we can, if if Asajj can get up towards the top of the screen um, she can just leave her uh, arc to just kind of stay on that left side and uh, just go around the edges she won't have much to worry about. Well, she's got a, a nice lane. If you look to the uh, to the her left, mm -hmm. uh, where she can just just go right through those two rocks. Yeah, uh, any other bank should get her through there. Mm -hmm. uh, short short of a three bank, I think a one and a two get her nice and clean through. Mm -hmm. And those uh, for being large ships, those things are so fast. Those lancers. Yeah. A lot of green on the on that dial too. Yeah, those threes are ridiculously good. Oh yeah. Um, I think it can go up to a. Uh, it can get up to five. Is that correct? Five uh, straight. Let me double check on that. I'm pretty sure. I've flown like uh, it can go five. Uh, five straight mm -hmm. and a five k as well. Five k turn. Yeah, that's 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 nasty. Mm -hmm. The only large ships I ever get to play with are uh, decimators, so <laughs> I uh, <laughs> definitely don't get that fast. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. But they are fun. I do like this. All right, All right here's Kylo, Kylo. Coming out. He's actually getting out of Dodge, trying to go mm -hmm. join his friends, and uh, I don't blame him. I think that's a good choice for sure. So much maneuverability. Mm -hmm. I mean, even just on this opening, uh, how much you can do uh, with that ship. Yeah, the All right, here goes Drew. Getting to people for a little while. Drew's also turning, turning to the right there. Mm -hmm. Looks like all guns were going to go up. It does. Uh, it's not all for naught that Kylo's gone. Like we, like mm -hmm. I was saying, he can just go up, skirt that top edge of the map, and uh, come around. Probably not get flanks uh, with these uh, repositioning ships, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, um, it'll be a nice, safe area for him to fight. No rocks to worry about. And uh, back to dials round two. Mm-hmm. Best league matches go up to 19 rounds. I don't think we're going to see that here, um, unless it comes down to uh, Kylo and Thweek just trying to stay alive, mm -hmm. um, just jousting and, and trying to barrel roll around each other and get the advantage. Definitely these next couple turns are going to be a positioning uh, battle here, mm -hmm. trying to That find first out. engagement is mm -hmm. going to kind of spell, uh, spell who takes the lead in the early game here. Well, and even just the positioning, like you know, what what do you, what do we do with Asajj? You know, what what kind of options do you have? You know, you're gonna try and slow roll maybe around mm -hmm. around those rocks. Uh, do you cut through? Um, now that Kylo's looking like he may be going to join everybody else, um, I think what, Kylo what your... will still stay on his own. Um, but you still have to be so careful approaching Asajj. You get in that range too, and uh, mm -hmm. now you get run the chance of uh, getting double stress if you push the limit and you don't mm -hmm. quite end up where you think you're going to end up. If you count on that barrel roll to get you out of range 2 and into range 3, um, and it doesn't do that, it, it gets really <laughs> ugly really quickly. Uh, there's no inspiring recruits here to save the day. Um, mm -hmm. it, it could get dicey. Um, don't that forget point. that Asajj has Burnout Slam mm -hmm. on, on this build as well. Um, I mean, you could totally see her just kind of try to cruise around and flank everybody, get behind them. And that burnout um, slam can uh, 
pro possibly get in there and uh, get somebody that double stress when they're not expecting Asajj to have gone so fast. Um, even uh, with a, I mean, heck, you can go five forward. You end up two base lengths, so that's a, a total of seven, and then another five forward. You could, you could traverse that whole map with uh, Asajj in a round if you wanted. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this next round, though, to see what he does, how he uses Countdown, and a quick draw here. Does he keep them together? Um, they could stay together. Um, the uh, ailerons can help uh, Countdown keep up with quick draw, and going around for a flank, probably not the uh, worst thing he could do. Asajj can't 5k here. She'll end up on that rock. There won't be much engagement at that point. I suppose she could do it. She's full health, you know. It's not going to be uh, the end of the world, but um, I mean, I don't know. When you're when you're full health, even I, I still don't like taking free damage. Um, yeah. Letting my opponent uh, just give me the thumbs up for my uh, piloting errors. <laughs> All right, we got dials down. Looks like maybe Drew's dial still needs to go down. Looks like it. Um, possibly debating whether or not to turn him in, uh, shoot off that harpoon, knock off some quick draw shield with your cheaper ship. It's not mm -hmm. a bad way to go. Um, if it ends up getting uh, diced in the early game, it's it's not terrible for uh, quick draw shields. I would trade Nidru. Oh, easily. Yeah, easily. All right, let's see here. Dolls are down, set. players are set. Countdown will go first. Not stressed, so those ailerons will be in play. There's the forward one and a three. Moving quick. Yeah, trying getting to catch up that with the drink. Maybe trying to put countdown out ahead of quick draw as well, just to mm -hmm. maybe be a little bit tastier of a target. Ooh, ooh, look Sash, at that. Turning in nice and tight. Wow, I really like that move a lot. I kind of expected her to go up along the edge uh, mm -hmm. and just kind of uh, keep her distance. Well, I'm just looking at, at the next approach. move with Asajj. I just, that is really slick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it lines up the next round really nicely. Um, mm -hmm. You really shouldn't have to worry about those rocks at all. Quick draw, going with a quick four. Mm -hmm. Pedal to the metal here. Hopefully, uh, Nidru doesn't come around and, and punish those uh, crafty Imperials trying to get in and get behind. I yeah, I'm I'm anticipating Nidru going up, but uh, but I could totally see him turning in maybe. Yeah, I mean if you can get Nidru up there, try to get all your guns together and try to light up the same target. That's that's definitely the way to focus fire somebody down really quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the same time, if they're if they want to come at you, sometimes uh, sometimes you just meet them right in the middle. And you see who can do it. It all comes down to the dice in the end. <laughs> Waiting on quick draws action. Maybe thinking about a barrel roll. Trying to get a little farther back in case Nadru comes in. Going with the focus. Focus. Going with the focus. All right. Most quick draw builds, you can save that focus, uh, get a chance to uh, to hold on mm -hmm. to it because um, of the tech slot. But uh, but in this case, we we don't have a tech slot uh, again to make room for countdown uh, being in the build. Yeah. When you when you're trying to upgrade from a measly tie fighter as filler to <laughs> trying to get a striker in there, uh, you've got to cut points where you have to. Mm-hmm. The weak with uh looked like a bump there. Not revealed a left two. Oh might have just uh Yeah, I think that was snagged a little going for a boost. Backing up taking a focus. Okay. Just taking a focus. Let's see. Thweak, nice lineup for uh, the next round being able to either turn down map or follow Asajj straight through those rocks. I, I do like that positioning on Tweak there. Kylo should be up next, probably deba debating some advanced sensors movement. And yep, here, here it comes. Advanced sensors. 
wonder if he'll be trying to get a little bit of distance from Asajj, or if he'll be trying to get in there, get some engagement ha happening. Boost forward. He's safe from the range two for right now, and a <laughs> five. Okay, so no. just trying to get out there, meet up with uh, all the others, and uh, if the Drew turns in, oh, oh, too hard. There it is. This could hang out in a Drew to dry. That being said, still, still can get, a get a nice, juicy missile off. Uh, quick draw might be out of range there. Uh, even... <laughs> Psycho said, "Hello, friend," on, <laughs> on his chat. <laughs> Quick draw may be too far back. It's hard to say. Countdown even could be a little too far away. So uh, I like that call by Kylo though to to call the the missile strike here. Mm -hmm. Tar yeah, I mean, target lock on quick draw. No, nope. can't reach him. A little too far, but he can uh, get uh, countdown or Kylo. He's going for Kylo. He's going for Kylo. So we got a target lock hmm. on Kylo. I'm trying Releasing. to think. Releasing. Does he release them? Oh, got the glitter, the glitter stim. stim. Yep. All right. Well, we are in combat. So we're we'll gonna get a missile stress, shot here. But all the focus results will be coming up. Mm -hmm. Reinhard said in the, his chat, uh, three hard may have caught quick draw. Mm -hmm. But still, if you can manage to get that harpoon condition on, mm -hmm. um, now your uh, your ship that you just went through all that to get. We're in a nice little formation with your uh, your others. Mm -hmm. Now he's kind of a ticking time bomb on when that will uh, trigger. Now a lot of people also forget that you can spend your action to remove the condition. Mm -hmm. yep. You might take a damage, you roll a die, hit or crit, you take a single damage, but at least you're not going to splash uh, your whole squad. The, the plus side I would say for uh, Kylo for shoots. here. Oh, here's Kylo. Got the re-roll. Not spending the focus. It's probably a smart move. And uh, Nadru will be taking those. Oh, the glitter stem triggering off of that focus result. Mm -hmm. So just one shield. Uh, two shields. Two shields. Reinhardt uh, called two shields there. It's only a one hit, is that right? Um, Major Juggler saying one shield. Yeah, and I'm, I'm only seeing yep, one uncancelled result. I'm, yep. whew, <laughs> Didn't spend the focus, he yes. said. But it, it is here, glitter sim, though, right? Here comes these harpoons. Okay. Always used to people getting max hits. Well, that is true. <laughs> With uh, the way 1.0 has gotten, that's uh, and we're about <laughs> to see just probably a full hit. <laughs> Five versus three. Okay, here, comes here we the go. Harpoons. <laughs> Holy like cow! Some... Well, oh Kylo goodness, will be harpooned, hits. and uh, didn't even need the glitter stem. Could have left it alone. Wow. Could have saved it for another day. <laughs> Yahtzee, he says, and he didn't have to spend the target lock <laughs> or anything. All just natural results. You can't even blame uh, no. any uh, design flaws in the game for this. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> all, waste all that tech to roll natural hits. Oh, man. <laughs> That's all right. And you got the five a couple hits. blanks, but auto thrusters do come into play, so mm -hmm. he'll be able to get out of two of those. But neither, nonetheless, shields are down, and you are now harpooned. Yeah, that's a uh, tough. That's a tough uh, shot there. Those harpoons can mm -hmm. be so deadly, oh, and definitely. especially on Nadru, with Nadru getting that bonus, extra extra dice, uh, definitely helpful. Um, I was going to say before all that happened that. It was probably good that it was going to go on Kylo because he can he can break away from his guys and, and not have to worry too much. Yeah, but, typically uh, he's going to be kind of on mm -hmm. his own, so it shouldn't be an issue. And you can spend your action to uh, mm -hmm. to get rid of it. Juggler hitting us with some math. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Thanks, just, Jug. Just a 0.74 percent chance to do five <laughs> natural natty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If you haven't checked out any major jugglers uh, stuff, by the way, uh, make sure you, make sure you check out some of his math wing stuff. It's really good. I definitely use it. I can't. I, I'm not a not not a friend of maths. Me and uh, me and math don't get along very well. It's all part of X wing. That's true. All right. So quick draw does not have a shot. 
Looks like we're gonna be going mm -hmm. to the countdown next. Yeah, he should be in there, range three. We'll he, see. He, oh, just out of Assage. Oh, yeah. Right. Hmm. Looks like he just Asajj puts range three there. Yeah, Assage actually a little closer than I thought she was gonna be of uh, Kylo. That firing arc off large bases. So, mm -hmm. so much space. Well, trading two shields on a Z95 mm -hmm. for a Kylo, two shields and a hit, and a condition token. Yeah. Not not the greatest for the Imperials on this first round of engagement, but he was able to dodge all the other arcs. So mm -hmm. it definitely could have been worse. Didn't Still a lot the... of X Wing left. Oh, a definitely. A lot of X Wing. Still, it it can be uh, it can put you on tilt a little bit when you take a, a nasty shot like that. The dice seem to be going your opponent's mm -hmm. way, and uh, sometimes that can get to you. So I know how that feels sometimes. Mm -hmm. Definitely had my run in with some some bad dice, but uh, try not to what do you, try not to get on that. Try not to blame. What do you think? Uh, what do you think he's gonna do with with Kyler? You think he's gonna try and roll that thing off, or is he gonna try to use it? A lot to of people forget here? you can even do it. So um, mm -hmm. I always like to point out that you can, um, just because if you are trying to keep a squad together, you don't want to be a, a ticking time bomb and, and just splash over everybody. That being said, I have intentionally used it mm -hmm. on quick draw to knock off a shield <laughs> and get a shot. So I mean, mm -hmm. it's there's worse things that could happen, I suppose, as long as you line it up correctly. Um, I mean, Kylo. Kylo is your end game ship, so I mean, definitely, I think you're gonna want to try to do whatever you can. He's, he's worth the most points, and he's the there. most uh, defensive. You want to mm -hmm. definitely keep as much health as you can, but uh, now, did we see? Did we see him give the dark side over to? Um, to I don't Nadru? believe he showed him the dark side. No. Um, is that a is that a choice? Is an optional thing there? Uh, let's see. Take a, let me take a look. Either way, I mean it's a, it's a missed opportunity, and a, and you know like if you're when you're spectating game, oh, when Psycho's you, when you do see things. Oh, oh. that's the true asking. darkness. Because <laughs> this is another uh, this is another piece here. Um. Uh, it is not <laughs> a May, so it does need to happen. Um, yeah, but at the same time, just being a, a spectators ourselves, um, mm -hmm. like I wouldn't have uh, pushed the issue myself. Uh, the matches between the players, so it, it looks like Psycho's talking about maybe doing blinded here. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, he did call for blinded. It's been pulled out yep. of the deck. Yep. And uh, so that is that is operational now. That being said, okay. I. I wouldn't want to trigger that on Nadru. I would try to save that, put it mm -hmm. on Asajj, or Thweek at least. Um, Nadru will hopefully die uh, before it triggers, but um, and then you can pass it on to somebody else. That being said, that means that Kylo Ren would have to get hit again, and that's not really what you want either. No, definitely not. Yeah. Uh, now, Nadru can't shoot this next round, so, I mean, you definitely have the advantage to take him out pretty quick here uh the the crit hasn't triggered yet it's just uh, well, not, oh that's until, true yeah, until right. he crit, gets a yes. uncancelled re yeah. result that's uh, right. then that will go through so if you can hold it at bay hopefully you don't roll a natural crit um i've gone sometimes as far as to re-roll that crit because mm -hmm. i didn't want to trigger it right away i wanted to save mm -hmm. that blinded um for either a more opportune time uh, maybe they didn't have a shot on me at all so it didn't really matter yet um mm -hmm. There, there are different ways you can go to prolong triggering Kylo's uh, condition there. Scum dials are down. I think uh, I'm glad that they caught. I'm glad that they caught that. Oh yeah, sure definitely. That when they, you, whenever they you can uh, make sure everything's going the proper way, um, mm -hmm. it gets a little bit iffy when there's May. Um, mm -hmm. The May uh, text on a card, it, it just makes things like, well, you missed it, so technically, but. Uh, kind of like fire control systems sometimes or anything else. Um, it's uh, It does suck to have that happen, but at the same time, when you're playing it at these kind of top levels, mm -hmm. missed opportunities, missed opportunities sometimes. So, yeah. Um, that being said, because it's not uh, a May kind of card and it has to happen, it would technically be an illegal game state otherwise. So, it is definitely a good thing. 
Now, uh, would, we got dials down on the scum side of things. I think uh, Saj is coming through nice and fast. Oh, yeah. I think she's This is a great lane. This mm -hmm. is so good. I foresee I mean, a just... three bank out of her. Mm -hmm. um, Thweek, I'm not positive. He might chase her through those uh, those two rocks there. Um, or I he might... See him. I could see him maybe coming down left as well, uh, down t you know towards the bottom board edge. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he's got that crazy barrel roll. It could really get him into a neat spot here yeah, um, I mean, to I'd... engage these Imperials. If Asajj comes down here with a nice uh, three bank, and then um, we can do a hard turn and then uh, do one of those nifty barrel rolls and uh, potentially have a, have a shot. Um, here's so a, here's a question for you. Uh, what about uh, Kylo? So we talked a little bit about the necessity to keep him alive. Um, do you see him running? Do you see him maybe being the one to engage Nadru? And then we have the other Imperials, you know, try to engage Asajj. Uh, what are you seeing there? I think Kylo could uh, could try to hang back. He's got that event sensors. He can barrel roll away. Um, and uh, I think he might be the one you leave back to finish off Nadru, maybe, uh, and get your other ships going up to kind of keep Asajj back for a minute uh, while Kylo gets in a little bit better position to get out of mm -hmm. there. Um, you kind of want to get Kylo behind everybody else. Um, that's where he kind of shines uh, when he's taking less shots and he's just kind of being plinking away. Like I said earlier, he's not the strongest attacking ship, but mm -hmm. either way, when you have somebody just behind you just hitting, um, even mm -hmm. if it's for low damage, um, it gets frustrating sometimes. Dials are yeah, definitely. Down. Players are set going into round three. Um, I, I will say both uh, both folks are using these rocks uh, in, a, in a good way as well. Um, being able to both navigate through them efficiently. Okay, there's the countdown. there's the ailerons going for countdown. Just trying to stay towards the bottom of the map. There we go. Let's see if we see a, a barrel roll or something to keep in a Druin arc possibly. It's like a focus. A focus. little bit of a kill box depending on where Nadru goes here. Yeah, I don't think Nadru really has an escape route. Can't mm. boost, can't barrel roll. He, he did his job. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he did his job. Did. That was to get that harpoon off, and uh, he did it pretty well. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Yeah, he, he kinda... did what he's in the list for. Yeah. And uh, Asajj coming out might not have that range 2 ability procking this turn. Okay, but, here's uh, a target lock shot. push for focus. Another th uh, thing you have to think about too with Kylo pushing the limit is mm -hmm. that uh, with Lots Razi crew, that it just allows Asajj to pull that off and uh, use it for her own defense if she needs it. Um, that being said, if uh, if I end up with a double stressed Kylo Ren, I think I just leave that there, take an extra hit. Um, but it is an option available to the scum player. Uh, Reinhardt's got to keep that in mind. All right, here's quick draw, coming in straight, getting a focus. Week. Just following Asajj it is, yep. through those rocks. Mm -hmm. Not going to have a shot this round. Go fast and win, the Sky Watcher. 1138 <laughs> with that nice THX reference. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you did there. <laughs> I like that we got support for uh, for both folks as well. Yeah, we got a little, little support for Psycho and a little uh, support for uh, for Reinhardt here in the chat. I'm sure they're sitting home in front of their computer screens with some nice big foam fingers. <laughs> That's right. We should make some T-shirts. I think that'd be nice. <laughs> little T-shirts for the Vassal League contestants. All right. Looks like we're. Waiting on Kylo here. Of course, of course. I have not actually had a chance to uh, find that in a store or on Netflix or anything like that, but I'd love to watch THX 1138. <laughs> actually, going for the 4K turn, I like this. There's not really a place Reinhardt could go that makes sense uh -huh. to try to go after Kylo here. That's yeah. actually not a bad move. I, I wouldn't have thought about it myself. 
Well, he's staying out of out of everybody's arc right now. Oh yeah, man, no, that, that is, is a, a great that unexpected cool move. move that I I didn't think mm -hmm. about. Um, mm -hmm. I usually write a lot of those red maneuvers off of my ace ships, <laughs> but uh, that's a great place to do right there. Mm -hmm. You just pulled a couple of uh, the target locks away, so now the shots that uh, Reinhardt does have will be mitigated to uh, mostly natural results. Well, and take take a look at what he did there. He advanced censored a, a boost, mm -hmm. and then did the K turn. So didn't didn't push off of it. So you're only getting a single stress. Yep. He uh, will have the reroll as uh, Nadru will be the only ship in arc, mm -hmm. and it does look like he will have arc on Nadru. So this should be the end of a Z95. Um, that being said, it will get to uh, do the simultaneous fire. Ooh, actually, just out. Oh. Look at how close that was. Wow. Wow, I thought that that was uh, mm -hmm. going to be an arc for sure. Here's a range one shot at Kylo. This is not uh, a bad time to, be a quick to draw. take a shot at and, it. And um, I don't know. It gets scary to start procking some shields. Ooh. Hey, that's probably for the best. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's going to take two shots regardless. It would be nice to put a little damage in. I mean, yeah, if Nadru's going to go down, he might as well go down in flames. Mm -hmm. uh, especially since if you're going to proc a shot, might as well be on a ship that's probably dead anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but here comes quick draw. <laughs> Get that shield. <laughs> Get that shield, he said. Gotta do it. Now, if only he had <laughs> Krennic on Nadru. <laughs> Krennic, Krennic had sold got out and gotten, gone, uh, gone rogue. Uh... All right, quick draw back into Drew. Actually, not too, uh, not too great, and he does spend mm -hmm. the focus. Yep. Just clean it up off the board. That mm -hmm. that, that does make sense. Get it while you can. Um, that should be enough there. Oh yeah, he's, he's down to just crit. hole. Uh, it does trigger that blinded pilot, which again mm -hmm. now is kind of useless because the ship already shot. Um, yeah. You know, and so now you're down one blinded pilot out of the deck. Would have been nice uh, to not have to worry about that one. Mm -hmm. Get it up and on the side. has a, does have a range three shot. This is a great time to use, of course, uh, if he if he can get some a shield off because uh, quick draw does doesn't have another shot. So. No, no. If you can uh, shoot quick draw when there's nothing there. This four four defense dice coming though, but he did have to use his uh, focus. It was probably the best uh, way to attack. go, especially because when you r do roll this uh, four dice green uh, defense roll, you might not even have eyeballs of results. Here, he oh does, my goodness! Here comes he two really hits. could have used it now. Ah, uh, ooh, uh, that's a that's a rough one. I mean, that's a t that's a tough call, right? I mean, you do you use the focus to to mm -hmm. finish off a ship? Do you save it for defense? Um, I I still think that. It, it was a good call by uh, by Psycho to, to go ahead same and use time, that. But at the same time, you still had Countdown going to shoot at Nadru. I think I would have uh, saved it. However, uh, when you have to make that call, you mm -hmm. have focus results sitting in front of you, enough to just end the ship right there. Yeah. It, uh, it gets tempting, and it's usually the right thing to do just to spend it, because you never know mm -hmm. if you're ever going to get focus results on your next roll. Yep. Yeah, I've had many a time where <laughs> my focus did not come into play mm -hmm. solely because I did that, but uh, but other times where it did. So again, it's X-wing. You're trying to weigh and balance everything out as best mm -hmm. you can. Definitely. Well, we're back to dials. Um, mm -hmm. Why don't you take uh, take a look at um, at Asajj and Thweek now, and we'll we'll kind of reverse roles here. What do you think is going to happen? I'm thinking with, Asajj. Uh, goes nice and fast. Uh, there's not really a way for Quick Trot to get around on her if you do. Um, so she can stay out of his arcs. Um, so I think a, a good solid 3 bank out of her would be uh, a good way to go. Kylo doesn't have to meet up with her, but uh, he, he can get in there. I mean, eventually you got to start working on Asajj and uh, taking a chance on that, that stress mechanic um, as much as it, it could be painful to do so. Um, Thweek, I think you bring him nice uh, and clean down through those rocks the, uh, with maybe a short bank. Um, 
and you just try to try to make a nice big area where none of the Imperial ships want to be. Um, <laughs> and on the other side, I say count, get countdown up in people's faces. Um, he can take the big shots and uh, just use his ability while everybody else hangs back. Well, the nice thing with countdown is you got those ailerons. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's in a a good position to to do a left. Uh, you know, left bank with the ailerons and uh, and really turn in on Asajj there. Yeah, because uh, she quick, can't quick turn draw. in. She's going to hit that rock if she tries a hard turn mm -hmm. of any speed, I believe. Yeah. Quick draw uh, doesn't actually have to uh, to turn around even right now. I mean, he could shoot out, you know, shoot from the backside. Mm -hmm. not, as, not as powerful, but at least could get quick draw in a better position coming up here. Yeah, I mean, you're... you're only real availability to come in and, and start shooting would be a too hard turn. Try to get it shot on Thweek there. Um, yeah, but then depends on what your target is, right? Are you trying to take out Thweek or, or Asajj? I mean, yeah, you do want to focus fire, but uh, at the same time, if Quick Draw is about to lose another shield, mm -hmm. um, you want to have Arc on something. That's true. You know, it's better than uh, just letting it go. Um, so I think it's either going to be a too hard turn or, or a four speed get out of dodge mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, set up for a better engagement. I think if you come in with uh, Kylo and Countdown, Countdown leading the way, getting nice mm -hmm. and close, um, trying to maybe be the juicier target, Kylo going a little slower, mm -hmm. um, I think that's probably the way to go here and get quick draw out. Scum dials are down. Um, Asajj doing a great job so far, keeping everybody in that arc without having to move mm -hmm. it a single time so far. Yep. Yeah, it definitely gives you the ability to push a limit on. We've seen him push on on a focus and an evade. Mm -hmm. uh, keep that keep that uh, resistance to damage up, uh, and I, I anticipate that happening again. Got some hard choices coming out of the Imperial player. Taking a little bit of time trying to think through all the decision trees, all the branches that uh, different mm -hmm. ideas and flight paths might go down. Trying no to... advanced sensors this time, though. So I mean, that's that's another thing to consider with Kylo. Um, yep, he's got to clear gonna... that stress first. Yeah, if you're gonna push push for anything, um, you're gonna get stressed again. I don't see him pushing on this next turn here. Um, uh, definitely not on if he where can't stay out of range of uh, that ability. Mm -hmm. But that is a a good point. You can't advance sensor right now. You have to do a green, clear the stress, and then take your regular action. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you won't be seeing that uh, pre-push the limit and then a green to uh, get rid of the stress. I, I will say when uh, when watching Kylo Ren players uh, fly him well, uh, it, it's pretty cool to see those advanced sensor moves. I mean, you can get him in some weird mm -hmm. places. Yeah, um, I I know it's not necessarily a skill I hold. Um, even when it, back in Soon Tears day. I only played a couple games of Soon Tier, and I I just mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I had the handle on it. Some of these uh, better players than me, um, which are many, uh, but uh, that they were able to do, it just felt like they could see ways to get into better positions than I ever could. And uh, Kylo's much the same way, but with the addition of being able to do the advanced sensor. Um, so, if you can fly Kylo well, it really goes to your advantage. All right, we got uh, dials down for Imperials, and by the way, uh, chat folks, uh, definitely throw throw stuff in there. Uh, yeah, if you to, have thoughts on where people go back should and go forth. or what their decisions mm -hmm. might be, definitely want to encourage you to do that. All right, they're both set. All right, let's see. Countdown will be first. Okay, Going nice and straight. Mm-hmm. And a two yeah. straight to follow it up. Interesting. So okay. Maybe everybody's trying to get out of here and just regroup, mm -hmm. get arcs pointed back in the same direction, and maybe fly as a team. Ah, oh, there we go. A little barrel roll action too. I mean, that's that's a great great thought. Uh, definitely by uh, Psycho there. Uh, you got a ship kill, right? Mm -hmm. You got you got the points on on your uh, on the board here. No yeah, reason to run for fifteen turns. Stay, it's fine. <laughs> no reason to stay super aggressive here. No, not not if it's in your uh, 
not to your advantage. When you have the lead, it's better just to uh, to keep it and make them come to you. Mm -hmm. You've kind of got the ball in your court on that. So you don't have to engage until you absolutely have the right place to be. Mm -hmm. The next move here will be uh, interesting with, not with Quick Draw necessarily, I mean, I, can, I kind of foresee him doing a similar thing there, but, uh, but with Kylo. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be interested to see how he approaches, relieves the stress, and either gets out of dodge or maybe tries to go on the other side of Asajj there. Yeah, does he go for the double reposition, still maybe take a shot or two, depending mm -hmm. on where Thweek goes here? Mm -hmm. Quick draw fitting in the, the four speed. I thought that might got a little bit closer than it was. I was kind of a little fearful of that uh, collision, but uh, definitely uh, saw that well on the board. Yep, good flying, of course. That's why these guys are at the top. Mm -hmm. Deep core is uh, the top of the Vassal League. Cream of the crop. Um, also uh, in the top four matches that we're going to be seeing out of uh, the deep core is going to be uh, Mr. Paul Heaver and <laughs> I believe Vander Legion. Uh, they have yet to set their uh, next their first match here. But uh, that is something to look forward to. We have a quick draw following up with a barrel roll to the right. Mm -hmm. And Thweek uh, just kind of chasing around Asajj. Mm -hmm. Having her back. Yep. I don't know. Do you do you think it's better to get Quick or Thweek involved? Oh, it, here we go. Here's the barrel <laughs> roll to do it. Here is the way to try and get that to happen. Yeah, I don't see Kylo evading all the arcs that are about to be coming. Okay, and there's there's the the barrel roll there. And I I really like that barrel roll. Yeah, the, the curve Viper the was fake kind of curved. the yeah the uh, the Star Viper was kind of a joke for a long time. It was. <laughs> And then uh, Thweek came. Yeah, most uh, most new, folks new called title, it the but... auto thrusters pack. You know, you would mm -hmm. go out by oh, a Kylo. Of auto thrusters pack. Kylo, <laughs> getting up in I there. am uh, a little frightened for you, Kylo. Now, Asajj's ability is only in the auxiliary arc. Is that correct? In the mobile arc. Uh, let's see. Yep. Start a combat phase. You may choose a ship range one to two inside the mobile firing arc. Ooh, so trying yes, to barrel roll and boost out of there, but uh, I think Asajj is going to have him. Range one, no tokens. That's a scary place to be. And and Reinhardt knows <laughs> not not quite, buddy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. This, uh, this, this you, could be you do have Kylo a, here. He does have the title. It does give him a little bit of help. Yeah, if he can spend the title. Mm -hmm. Try to get uh, try to get the reroll if he needs it. And if he does take arc. damage, if he does take damage, you get to uh, get mm -hmm. the crit on, so you do get to show the dark side again. Yeah. But man, look how is that in arc there? Uh, yes, yes, the corner. Okay. Peaks in. Just the corner. Range one shot. Well, three. That's that Two is available. Oh, there's a four. Well, uh, that's not quite. Target lock. <laughs> and yeah. there's two and a crit going in. Spinning the title. Yep. Rolling. And it comes out better for him. That's good. That's, yep, that's going to save his bacon. Uh, Reinhardt said good night. Well, if he gets that direct hit coming in. Oh, the harpoon is Harpoon still goes off. Mm, I forgot With about the splash. that down there. Yep. Well... You did a damage to Asajj. Great job, Kylo. Well, I mean, look how close that he was, though. I mean, that was very close to getting out of arc. Yeah. Fully getting out of arc. I, I, mean, I don't know if I would have risked it for this very reason. Um, I would have tried to at least probably keep Asajj uh, in my own arc. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. know if that boost at the end was quite the way to go, but it was very close. Yeah. If, and if it had been out, that would have mm -hmm. been, that would have been, a that killer. Would have been beautiful. Killer move Kyle right there. Been to get a out. Great position for the rest of the game. So it's, it's a risk, and it it mm -hmm. could have been well worth it, and it was very close to paying off. Uh, but with that said, yeah, there are still a couple still great ships on the board. Uh, though quick takes draw a while is to chew through, and quick draw yep. still has a shield mm -hmm. for that ability. Yeah, I definitely think. Uh, 
Reinhardt's next target here is going to be Quick Draw. <laughs> you only have one more, one more target there. I mean, getting getting Kylo off the board like that gives Thweek the huge advantage. He oh, yeah. gets to move after everybody now. Yep. Thweek um, is now the ace of aces. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even Asajj gets to move after after Countdown. So, um, so this is definitely, you know, it's it seems like it's swinging a little bit. Mm -hmm. Asajj still got the mid right arc right where it needs to be, doing a great job mm -hmm. of uh, keeping that uh, on target at all times. At the same time, we've seen good flying out of both uh, players. So I don't, mm -hmm. I would never count out anybody here, uh, and so. Let's, let's see if Psycho can uh, can pull back into this thing. And if he can set up quick draw right, you'll have have two shots at something. That is true. Okay, so uh, Asajj, uh, we got dials down for uh, for the scum players. Uh, you know, definitely seeing Asajj doing similar things, maybe uh, three uh, three turn or three bank coming up, uh, clear that stress, uh, because those threes are amazing on that dial. Uh, definitely yeah. can clear the stress um, with that. have to start reacquiring your locks. So mm -hmm. uh, Thweek, I probably will see a turn out of Thweek, uh, just try to get on target, get a target lock out of there. Um, Maybe try to slip into the side of a quick draw as well with the, that funky barrel roll. Yeah. Um, as he does that turn, I could see that for sure. Yeah, Thweek has so many options with that barrel roll. Um, you could even go straight and just barrel roll into a nice little position. Uh, the mm -hmm. Imperial ship's there, stuck in a bit of a corner. Quick draw's mm -hmm. not the fastest ship uh, when it's time to get away from the mm -hmm. battle. Um, both both players right now um, in their in their chat on Vassal just kind of they're kind of re re talking about the uh, mm -hmm. you know just good good talk at the table um, as far as what what just happened in that last turn yeah uh, I think that uh, both being supportive and positive I like that oh that's that's the X Wing community in general it's it's <laughs> a nice place welcoming place um, mm -hmm. you you get that a lot uh, when you go to stores play on Vassal um, whatever you do it's uh, it's just a great uh, community that keeps everybody involved, keeps everybody positive. And if you're new to the game and watching this uh, video, definitely make sure you hit up a store. Uh, go and tell them you're new. Tell them, you know, ask them questions. That's the biggest thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Just keep asking lots and lots of questions. But uh, it is a huge welcoming community. That's that's what keeps me playing, is uh, is getting to, able to meet new people and, and be able to play great games with, with almost every time with such positive attitudes on both sides. So, definitely. And here we go. Yep. Uh, Count, countdown coming, coming in. in. Trying to get in uh, nice, close, and dirty. Mm -hmm. Get some damage in. Uh, this is probably where Countdown should have been earlier, trying to uh, just be the target. Hey, look at me. Shoot at me. Um, keeping the aces safe. But I think Nadru kind of... Late. Nadru kind of did that that job pretty quick at the beginning of the mm -hmm. game to both be a distraction, but also I mean when you see five hits naturally come out yeah. of that ship, I mean that that is kind of crazy. So yeah, I always uh, find that interesting when uh, somebody's put a bunch of upgrades into getting just the nicest modified shot you can possibly mm -hmm. get, and then you end up getting natural any results <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, and keeping all those tokens, or they end up wasted. Okay, here we got quick draw with the slew bank. Hmm. And it's another close arc that uh, so far all, all the arcs that have been close have just not worked out in the imperial favor. There's so three bank countdown in a, in a pretty solid position. Let's start working on Asajj there. Little boost, uh, boost forward, into the left. For yep. Thweek. Right where quick draw cannot fire. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Range two, so Asajj's ability coming this off. This is the, for first, the first time. First time, by the way. Mm -hmm. First time that's happened. So, uh, sure. but this also yep. does a couple things here. Um, so this turns off the adaptive ailerons for countdown. 
Um, and also, it turns off Countdown's ability. Countdown now cannot take the stress to reduce all the damage. So if uh, mm -hmm. Saj can get a nice juicy shot here, Countdown and she got the all. focus to do it. I anticipate that focus being spent. Oh no, stays with the uh, crit. And Psycho is safe on that and shot. It's evaded. Quick draw needs to keep that shield for uh, last efforts. And uh, looks like Asajj must have been out of arc. Quick draw didn't shoot. And there's another evasion. Not mm -hmm. a lot of blood on this round. Nope. But that's uh, it's probably in Psycho's favor. Here comes Countdown. Yeah, that's a great great round of shooting there. About as good as you can ask for. Going after Ventress and blanks. Ooh. And all of eight. <laughs> right <laughs> when you need it the most. <laughs> right, yeah, that's well. uh now we got two stress ships here. So the dials are gonna be a little bit limited. If you could uh, have at least hit Asajj hard enough that maybe she pulls your stress with Lots Razi, activates mm -hmm. all your stuff again. Um mm -hmm. Maybe that uh, ends up a little bit better. Then again, sometimes turning off those ailerons is a good way to go. Um, yeah. So you're not getting too fast uh, when you don't want to be, and especially when people are getting in nice and close like we are now. Um, unless you're trying to run, it's it's time to get in, time to fight. Well, I definitely see anticipate a uh, maybe even a hard hard turn here. Um, that's of course what my first thought would be, but uh, you know, it just depends if you're trying to clear that stress or not. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I uh, I like that uh, the Imperial now has Asajj maybe needing to think about where the mobile arc needs to be placed. Um, it's it's co good coming at it from both sides. If uh, you can't keep your primary arc on quick draw, you're gonna have to move that mobile arc. Uh, to get this uh, range one shot that might be coming this next round. Yeah, and Thweek, uh, Thweek is in the way a little bit of Asajj. Mm -hmm. um, she's got... I don't know if she's got a lot of places she can go without bumping here on this next turn. Well, Thweek does have uh, a sloop maneuver, is that correct? Yeah, but uh, Asajj is, is going to go first because she's at a six. Um, yeah, but at the same time, I don't know if I mind a bump from her. Clear the stress. Clear the stress, um, yeah. Bump, stay right there. Probably have a shot on Countdown, who's, uh, if he wants to activate his ability, needs to do a green, which is going to keep him to one banks mm -hmm. or straights. And, uh, so we could maybe, maybe sneak in a left bank, you know, left bank one. Let's could. See. And she does have that. It's not a green, though. But she does have that. Um, yeah, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if the sauce just bumps here. Or maybe a hard three. Stress. Three left. That'll clear it. It it would clear it, but you Countdown might be safe from that rock. Block. You might be safe from that rock with a three hard turn. The problem is Countdown's going to be uh, moving first. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably going to block that spot. Yeah, I think that's a that's a great call for the Imperial player. Um, clear the stress and and maybe block Asajj. Not a bad way to go. Uh, quick draw in the meantime, also stressed, limited to one banks and straights. So uh, can't go straight too far. I'm gonna run off the board and uh, need to get your arc pointed at something. So mm -hmm. gonna be limited to pretty much a one bank here. Unless he just uh, ignores the stress and goes hard too. That gets dangerous. I mean, you're only protecting the one shield, but now you're into your vulnerable hole after that, um, yeah. and it's it just you're you're already kind of down and out right now. I think you need to uh, stay as safe as possible, play defensive, um, which is going to put you in predictable positions. But uh, sometimes you need those tokens. Stay uh, stay on the board. And if you bank if you bank left, you can you can take a left barrel roll if you feel like you need to. I just I just see Thweek trying to stay right in that side arc or mm -hmm. side where there is no arc on a quick draw. Yeah, but if quick draw does bank in, a nice little mm -hmm. sloop from Thweek could be a good position. All right, they're both set. So 
So we got a countdown going first here. Mm -hmm. Morb Dietro, how's it going? Good to see you on the chat there. And there's that one left bank. Clearing that stress, activating your ability, although uh, mm -hmm. Saj probably going to stay within range 1 to 2, so shut it right back down. But you we'll got to start clearing here. it so you don't get double stressed. Mm -hmm. Taking the evade. There's the bump. Bumping into Thweak. Still gives Countdown a nice shot. That's true. But uh, with that stress uh, going right on Countdown, you're going to be able to latch Razi that right off if you need to. Probably why I took the evade to give him uh, give him a a chance to evade even with his ability getting shut down. Mm -hmm. The nice part here is that when you do put that stress on countdown from Massage, shut down his ability to uh, reduce the damage coming in, and then when you take the shot next because of pilot skill levels, you can Lotsrazi that off without worry. There's the sloop. And the one bank. Just saying, called it all. I know everybody was stressed and there wasn't <laughs> a lot of options, but I called it all. Yep, I like that. <laughs> They're, uh... Talking about, oh, did you start a log file for this vessel match? Uh, normally, oh. you, you log all the keystrokes and everything from this. Don't worry, <laughs> it's all right <laughs> here. I say we got you covered <laughs> in their chat. <laughs> if you if you want, you can always throw that in the chat or link to this when we're done. Quick draw, going three versus two. Whiffin. These uh these red dice have not been nice to the Imperials. Not a lot of uh, big shots coming out of them. He d he does get the FCS. Mm -hmm. On that. All right, here comes Reinhardt. Reinhardt, 3v2, hitting a crit. On quick draw. Has a target lock. And blank to a blank. That's always nice when that happens. He does have FCS, which brings it back. There's really no point in not. Oh, you definitely that spend lock. it. It's just, yeah. uh, you know, you got that 3 out of 8 chance to uh, not get another blank. I'd at least like to see a focus I still can't use. <laughs> but at least the result has changed, you know? You at least want some white, some paint yeah. on the uh, that on makes the you dicer. feel a little bit better. <laughs> gotcha. All right, and Psycho is safe on that roll. Mm -hmm. Keeping that shield. Saj, mm -hmm. looks like she's going after Countdown. And she did, uh, by the way, did give the, uh, yep. the stress. And here comes... Not the Hitting biggest crit. shot. Well, she's uh, unmodded, it looks like. I don't see any mods Yeah, well, she there. did bump. That's right. And there is, right. there it is safe again. Uh, yep. So now countdown. If, uh, if countdown can get a nice big shot in Asajj, hopefully she'll pull, pull the off. stress. Mm -hmm. And uh, just open up that dial a little bit more. No mods for this shot, so one crit. And it's evaded. Safe did not have to pull the stress. So no lots Razi needed on that no. shot. So that's going to limit Countdown again, trying to turn. Mm -hmm. um, and you kind of know where everybody's headed this round again. Asajj has to be going up uh, towards the week there. Probably another bump coming mm -hmm. in. Um, but Countdown won't be able to quite get where it needs to be. Um, you could hard turn, uh, but you start running the risk of that double stress mechanic. And then... Uh, you probably just won't see actions anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to see if Asajj can get a one bank in by that rock there. 
Mm, I think she can. Is that a green maneuver? Well, she's not stressed right now. Oh, well, that, that's true. That's true. So I mean, I, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to uh -huh. think. You know, do you do you go with Asage and maybe go for a bump here on Quick Draw? Make him have to, you know, go fast to get past you. Mm, um, I would say you, you, you know, uh, almost quick draw do that one bank. Hard right. Do that one bank or even a one forward and move mm -hmm. your arc to the back. Yep. Shoot out the rear and you should be able to shoot either countdown or quick draw. Mm -hmm. Now if you're countdown and quick draw, what are you thinking? Are you thinking to go hard right with quick draw? Maybe not anticipating it's a bump coming. a tough spot to be in because you are not going to get arc with countdown unless you put yourself in a very dangerous per situation. Mm -hmm. Quick draws down to one shield, and if you shoot out the rear only, mm -hmm. you're only rolling two to three dice. Um, you do have a target lock. You can get a focus, so it, it could be a nice shot, but still not quite that full potential and you're still going to want your focus token for your defense so mm -hmm. you're only round seven you might bug out and just try to mitigate the damage coming in try to mm -hmm. reconvene come in from a different angle um yep. you've got the scum players about to go through some rocks and and try asaj trying to navigate around take them some time to turn around um, so you should be able to get your arcs pointed in the right spot before she gets kind of in that clear opening where mm -hmm. there's uh, nothing, no obstacles. Yeah, I definitely would, could see that that could be a great way to go. Just get out of dodge, go fast. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you got protection on quick draw if you do go fast. Um, you know, protecting against... Uh, against incoming shots if like from Thweek or if uh, Saj gets to turn that arc or needs to. Yeah. And here comes countdown, hard three, clearing that uh, stress, or three straight, straight three, excuse yeah. me. Evading again. And that's probably a safe way to go. If you're not going to shoot, you might as well mm -hmm. get that guaranteed evade result. There's that one bank you brought up. Oh, yep. it does clip Oh, the it does clip. It's actually That is going to save the Imperial player from... Uh, Ooh, no damage, but still, just not having mm -hmm. to worry about that shot. Psycho's got to be breathing in a huge sigh of relief right now. Yeah, yeah, you don't get a shot at all there unless <laughs> he comes in. He's laughing in the chat. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> psychos. They lose now. <laughs> Reinhardt's okay about it. All right, <laughs> <laughs> these guys. Uh, all right, and so we got quick draw going four straight. So mm -hmm. exactly what we were thinking. Get out of there. Yep. You called that nice, and then. Uh, but now that you're not worrying about uh, multiple shots coming in, I think he's mm -hmm. just sitting right there, focus up, and he does. Yep. And he's going to be able to at least take a shot out the back, which is great on and a defenseless. Thweek with a bump, so no actions okay. from Thweek here. Mm -hmm. um, this could be a, a nice turning point if you can get through Asaja's shields with quick draw. Yeah, Thweek does have target lock still, so I mean you could save that focus for defense. Mm -hmm. Definitely could help you survive a little bit more damage there. But if uh, Thweek takes off one shield, do you take that second shot? Or, like, if you have the chance to evade it, or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, uh, um, you're only shooting two out the rear. That's going to be a range two shot, it looks like. So mm -hmm. I would save the focus for the defense. Luckily, Thweek mm -hmm. is going to be uh, shooting, well, actually, Thweek shoots second. I would save it for the focus and if you, uh, or for the defense roll, <laughs> if you don't end up using it and you do mm -hmm. take a shield or something like that, then you, you can worry about it then. Yeah. Two hits, don't even have to worry about it. Focus blank. And uh, the shields are gone, massage. Once you uh, start getting some hole mm -hmm. damage and maybe some crits in on large base ships, it, uh, it it can turn very deadly, very quick. One it looks like... Evade. Looks like uh, Psycho Every, is safe on yeah. that. So really, really definitely that round going in the favor. Of, yeah, just uh, that little nick on that rock. I mean, that is barely mm -hmm. overlapping. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes this is a game of millimeters, so... And uh, on, on Vassal, sometimes a game of pixels. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. All right. And, uh, Countdown. Got to clear stress again. Um, that being said, I don't mind a too hard turn here. Um, 
just to start turning your arc a little bit more, a little bit quicker. Because you want to start engaging Ventress before she gets clear of these rocks and is able to mm -hmm. do more things. Uh, when she does turn in, because she's got to turn towards the left, her arc, mobile arc will now be facing down towards the bottom of the screen. And that can uh, cause issues if she's having to spend her actions to now move that mobile arc around. Yeah, I still don't mind a, a hard two or high th hard three here mm -hmm. with uh, with Ventress. I mean, it, both of these guys can fly through these asteroids like nothing. So, I mean, they're they're split far enough apart. She's, I don't see any problem getting through there. I um, thought that's the same thing about this little rock she landed on, and then uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes things happen. True. Um, Good point. You can Good only point. eyeball things so much. It's not like you can pre-measure. So I mean, <laughs> you've got to just trust your gut sometimes, and sometimes the gut mm -hmm. is wrong. Yep. But uh, definitely not in a bad spot for the scum player. Still plenty of health on the board. Mm -hmm. um, still probably in the winning position here. Don't forget, we do have a burnout slam on Asajj as well. Still, mm -hmm. um, definitely something to keep in mind if if. Uh, if she wants to stay engaged even this next turn, if he, if he, uh, if Psycho tries to bank out, you've got that. And uh, I'm cat catching back up with the chat here. Uh, thanks, Morb Dietro. Uh, he said, "Glorious beard," <laughs> uh, and uh, you know it's still it's still growing. I have uh, have days where I'm ready to chop it off, but uh, you know, I'd still like going to see it down it. to your knees. I mean, <laughs> if it's dragging Look. behind you on the ground, I I think you've done well. If I do, I can get a shirt that uh, maybe gets me to a Dumbledore status uh, <laughs> if I can keep growing this thing. So, <laughs> find out, <laughs> find out how I feel tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> maybe that uh, comment will save that. <laughs> All right. Dials are down. Mm -hmm. Reinhardt set. Oh, quick draw. Uh, Psycho's back. fixing a little something there with quick draw. Never shave. <laughs> All right, so we'll see if Countdown keeps the stress, tries to turn that arc around uh, with a hard two, mm -hmm. or if uh, it's going to be nice and just clear, maybe come around the rock, regroup, and uh, come in with a focused front. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, both both guys, they still got a lot of uh, hit points on the board. I mean, quick draw with uh, only down two shields. That ship is solid, even if it's at one hole. All right, countdown clearing some stress here with a one bank. All right, just a nice soft one bank. Mm -hmm. That stress, you're right, and. Uh, a little barrel, barrel roll, roll to the right. You got the ailerons to the up, right. and you shouldn't have to worry about Asajj's stress. So you should be safe from uh, going over that rock as long as you don't dial in a two or three uh, straight. All right, we got Asajj moving next. This is where we'll find out mm -hmm. how she wants to approach this next part. So we will have all the room he needs. Here's too a two hard. hard. See where that puts her. Should put her in. Yep, nice safe position. Do you burn out slam here? Mm. You could if go you do, you'd be in a great hard. position if she could still shoot. Mm -hmm. But that'll uh, give her that weapons disabled token. I think. I think you let let uh, let it lie here. We'll see, we'll see. Um, she doesn't have a target lock up right now. Yep, there it is. Target lock, quick draw. Okay. Could be, uh, it'll probably be out of range. But uh, that stays round around until you want to use it, so... Yeah, whenever you're possibly not going to have a shot, it's always nice to, to pick up a oh, lock definitely. that you need. Alright, quick draw, doing a three bank here. Okay. Just getting nice and lined up for uh, to come in with countdown on this next mm -hmm. round, probably. Yep. And quick draw definitely have his ailerons up. Being that Asajj is 
range through your past. All right, looking for uh, Thweek's next move here. I anticipate Thweek going uh, with maybe a three bank here. He does have that funky barrel roll. Maybe you can get him in the side of quick draw. That's true, that's true. Not sure. Not sure what they're waiting on here. I think Quick Draw's but, debating uh, the action. Oh, gotcha. Quick Draw. Yep. Uh, trying to decide if it's going to be a barrel roll. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Oh, there, there you go. There it is. Good call. Keep him out. Maybe keep him out of range. Goes for a two bank. And we got the funky barrel roll. Does he use it or try to keep? I, I think you boost in. You're out of arc of Quick Draw. You're out of arc of Countdown. Just boost in. Start trying to light things see up. See if you can. See if you can get a hit in. Yeah, get that yep. last shield off of there. There it is. You have the target lock already. All right, Quick Draw's out. Oh, he checked uh, checked for Asajj's uh, stress. Oh, Definitely yeah. out of range of that. Just a little. Mm -hmm. But still, something hey. good to check. Always, always be in the habit of using your actions. That's that's definitely what I would think. Never hurts say. to try. Mm -hmm. Until second edition, when you can fail actions, <laughs> then it will hurt to try. <laughs> you better know and be able to gauge where people are. Which I'm sure these guys know plenty how to do being uh, at the top end of the Vassal League here. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, Psycho is safe on Thweek's shot. Quick draw, getting lucky and luckier as time goes on. Well, here we got a shot from Asajj. Asajj to count down. Nice shot with a ooh, and good evaded. evades too. Hit crit evaded. This went from a, a huge bloodbath to uh, of a game. It yeah, that just, first, uh, first couple rounds, fighting. man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's first couple rounds, but again, it's it's just a positioning thing, right? We got a, a nice positioning battle right now. Each person trying to uh, find their spot. All right, and going back to dials. Yeah, it came out with that hard harpoon, natural rolls, Nadria yep. blew up, Kylo blew up, and then everybody mm -hmm. switched their lasers to pillow mode, and uh, <laughs> that's where we've been ever since. Stun setting, I would think, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's, it's just uh, a training mission, that's all. Everybody needs to remember this is Star Wars, there is no set to stun. <laughs> stun blasts are a thing, but uh, that's just to knock out princesses. <laughs> You don't see him anywhere else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, countdown. Uh, probably banking one to the right. That's my assumption here. Bank one to the right. Do a hard two. Uh, try to get back in there and quick draw. Uh, I would say have doing to a, agree. Doing a hard two, hard three. Get try to get keep working on Asajj. Yeah, you've got to do a hard. The bank is gonna mess with that uh, rock right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Don't want to mess with that at all. Mm -mm. Nope, straights are out of the question. Mm -hmm. There's really no reason for... I mean, unless you're just trying to throw off your opponent, I, I, I don't feel like there's any reason to turn a, turn away left or right, to go around that rock. I just I don't see it. Um, Thweek, though, uh, how do you think Thweek's going to come into this thing? You think he just goes straight and then tries to re rely on that funky barrel roll mm -hmm. to, to get things going? I would think so. You, when you have that arc dodging potential, um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's the same way when I fly Echo. Uh, you've got the ability to just kind of dance in between arcs like that, and uh, Thweek being able to do it as a barrel roll mm -hmm. after everybody's moved, uh, just a great option to keep available to you instead of over committing to one uh, angle of approach. Um, a straight is probably the best way to go there. Quick draw, no boost. Countdown has the ailerons, but I mean, still mm -hmm. a slower dial after that. 
And we've got dials down now. All dials are in. Countdown is going to go first. Mm -hmm. I foresee a aileron to the right and a hard turn to follow it up. Mm -hmm. Start getting some guns on Asajj. She's going to mess with you all day. You might as well just uh, knock her out. You're in the hole. Hopefully you can get uh, some nice crits on there. Hard turns red. Damage engine. That's a, always a terrible thing to get mm -hmm. put on your large ship. Um, meanwhile, Thweek just trying to knock off that last pesky shield of quick draw. Yep. Yeah, if he if he could have gotten it either of those last turns, that would have been really helpful. He still could get it this turn. If he comes in the side. But uh, it's up to Kent, uh, Quick Draw to get in that position to use that shield. Yeah, which is not impossible to do here. A hard turn will do it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you could even leverage your barrel roll to, to get Thweak and Arc if you wanted to change your targets up. But you've already to go for a block. Yeah, I don't, to go for I don't a block. see Thweak going too f fast. I don't think Thweak mm -hmm. would go that fast to uh, get bumped. It's possible though. If she's going in for that one uh, mm -hmm. range one shot. Going for range one. Yeah, be definitely aggressive again when you have the lead. Oh, actually, going the other direction and then K turn. Oh. Okay. Okay. That is a cool way to play that. Yeah, you're getting away from Asajj unless she goes mm -hmm. super fast. You're yep, leaving comes quick draw, though. Leaving quick draw to be shot by both, possibly. That is true. Switch well, on the maybe, arc. maybe. Well, maybe quick draw goes for that. Goes, goes both, around that rock too, yeah. though. Both arcs are now in the front. Switch that auxiliary arc over that mobile turret, and uh, that could mean mm -hmm. quick draw might get stressed here. Okay. This is and an interesting. Clear the move. rock. Look at that. That is awesome flying right there. Look at how he's setting that up. He's going to have to make Asajj either come straight at him or have to move that, that arc again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Thweek did hard, did come in super fast there. The three straight. No way to yeah, really dance to too far of Asajj. And so, uh, yeah, I don't. Do you I mean, could. Could do a barrel roll left, mm -hmm. and here it comes. Get out a quick dr or a countdown's arc, mm -hmm. and uh, at least evade one shot. Yep. Quick draw will be unmodified against the weak. It's still gonna be close. I think he's probably gonna get around it. Yeah, Psycho, so. Psycho said, thought you'd go slower. And I thought the same thing. I, I'm right there mm -hmm. with him. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want, really want to overcommit. Looks like he should be out of countdown's arc. It there. is close though. It's gonna be close. I think he's probably out, but it's gonna be close. Can't wait to see that. All right. Well, All right. Time for shooting. Let's see if they take their stun setting off. <laughs> They're gonna need to if they want to punch in damage. This has been a just a, <laughs> a tit for tat kind of a day here. Mm-hmm. Definitely tough though. All naked dice coming. Range three. No shot from Massage coming this round. No, that's good. That's good for Psycho anyway. Mhm. Mm and she'll be in a nice position to go fast next turn and uh, clog things up. Mhm. Mm yeah, Reinhardt definitely has a, a, a nice advantage too. If uh, if he does get that shield off, um, thinking to switch FCS. Hmm. That is a tough call, but Thweek has been the one in arc most of the time lately. Mm-hmm. I always hate that when, I, when I'm when i starting to switch targets around a little bit. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, unable to get my focusing uh, fire there. Mm-hmm. He does not switch it. He keeps it on Asajj. I mean, the good thing for... Uh... Oh, here we go. we got a 3v3 coming back. With All the right. target lock into a focus. So hit crit. And double evade. There we go. Oh man. 
just evading all these uh, natural rolls this game are yeah. pretty pretty impressive. The modded shots aren't doing as well as the <laughs> countdown. Let's see where his natural arc ones ends up, and it's out. Mm -hmm. So we're back to dials again. Um, Tweak able to maybe uh, try to get behind everybody with a nice slow move and a barrel roll mm -hmm. curving over. Countdown stress, so he can't use his ailerons. Still a nice a nice chance for maybe a try on a block on Tweak mm -hmm. with countdown. Um, I would almost try to go pretty fast with countdown and block Assage from coming into block quick draw. Uh, mm. I need just this, I see this train of blocks coming in in this big cluster <laughs> um, potential. Because um, otherwise, I might five forward with Asajj just to get in uh, quick draw's face, mess him up a little bit, bounce three around and behind, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even out of arc. Well, and it gives you a chance to, to remove that, that uh, auxiliary arc, that secondary arc there, mm -hmm. uh, mobile arc, and uh, maybe turn that to the right and uh, start going around that board that way. Just kind of switch gears there. That's definitely a potential. Yeah, I, f I find Thweek's next move to be really interesting because, uh, like you said, does he get around behind the Imperials or... Uh, Yeah, Countdown needing to get rid of that stress to get that ability up. Um, otherwise, it could just melt. That being said, Asajj has the arc pointed at everybody mm -hmm. and where everybody's path may take them. It's going to be hard to get out of that. But you do have a nice setup for a kill box here with the Imperials. They're right together. Could really get some good arcs in. It's where they need to be. It's just uh, does their defense hold when you come in and get in mm -hmm. close quarters combat. Um, quick draw can't go too slow though because that's going to put uh, the uh, SF on that rock right from. So got to at least probably do. I would say, I mean, at least a two. A two should be safe. But you got to get that stress out of there. Get that focus up on quick draw. Uh, <laughs> but that's where Asajj might be able to come in with a bump. Because remember, that's that's seven template lengths forward that she's going to be coming if she does a five. Yeah, those things can scream. Mm-hmm. All, All right, we got down. the Imperial dials down. By the way, as they're getting ready to move their dials here... Um, oh, here's Countdown. Bless you. And there's that bank to clear the stress. Mm -hmm. Maybe trying to block Thweek. Um, hopefully didn't block Quick Draw onto that rock. I don't think so. It looks like it should be he all could, right. He can go plenty fast to get through that. Mm -hmm. and especially with Asajj going pretty darn slow. Mm -hmm. Just a one forward. Yep. This next move by Thweek is going to be the the interesting one, I think. Yeah, I kind of foresee that uh, that one speed straight and then bank to get mm -hmm. right up behind Quick Draw. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could do a one straight and then bank. Yeah, I mean, at this point, of course, we have twenty twenty vision now. Yeah. But you can you can just well, yeah, get that barrel roll in this side. And there it is, nice and yep. slow bank barrel roll. Get out of everybody's see heart. if it see if Light it fits it though. It should. Left forward, and there it is. Plenty of yep. room. Oh yeah, lots of space. It's got a target yeah. lock up. Range one shot. That That's shield should be fi finally going off. Got two mm -hmm. pretty juicy shots. Both target locks on quick draw. Yeah, Major Juggler giving giving a lot of props there. Boss move, he says. Stress uh, on quick draw. Great maneuvering with that mm -hmm. with that Star Viper. That was that was beautiful, and that's that's just where we can get to. <laughs> See yeah. the board state at the end, and just know it, where the exact placement needs to be. Quick draw, firing first. 
range 2 of Asajj. Um, Asajj can use Lazarazi if needed. Mm-hmm. Yep. If a potential crit is coming through, you, you might do it. Hopefully Quick Draw can use this positioning to it. Uh, advantage. There it is. Two hits and a crit. Didn't have to spend yep. the focus yet. Two evades and pulls it with lots. Or no, spends the evade token. Mm-hmm. So, so you still safe. keep that stress on. Mm-hmm. But the option of using lots is still there for the, uh, <laughs> the shot when Thweek probably takes the shield off here. Mm-hmm. Four versus three. With target lock. And Psycho says, I miss flying that lock. ship. It's being spent. Weak there. And that shield's coming wow. off. Four yeah, dice for versus sure. three dice. Gonna hit a miss. Now you just hope Quick Draw doesn't die. And there it is. Got a focus. And spends yep. it. Might but as well. Just taking the one shield, which is the mm -hmm. best way for that crit to uh, not affect you. Yep. Just make Make it go to your shield. And uh, try to light up Ventress again. Oh, oh but three blanks. Target lock. And yep, there's the target. Down to two crit. blanks. That's it. Well, either way, <laughs> she just pulls and, it with lots. Yeah. And she has to. Two blanks. Wow. I mean, she could take it. She's got seven health, but she'll spend it. Yep. Reinhardt says, spend your stress. She is evaded. Safe. All right. And here comes another shot at quick draw. Two. Uh, does have a target lock. She's spending and blank to a blank. Alright, and, and two evades. Look at that. Wow. I mean, the last shield is gone, so I think that's still good for the scum player. No yep. damage done, ultimately. Countdown's still got to shoot, but mm -hmm. uh, I think that's this is still going to end up being a very good round. Definitely a good round, uh, and that Thweak barrel roll is just the the piece of flying that really helped do that. But you never know, we've got, mm -hmm. got some damage incoming. Countdown's no no slouch, three dice coming in. So, And this is where uh, some of With the, the lower ships could end up turning the game around. I've mm -hmm. had it come up uh, several times. And there it is, two and a crit. Yep. And blank focus, so only evading one of those. Mm -hmm. So hit and crit going through. No way to use Lots Razi here. Nope, she is already done her thing. Damage cockpit as the crit. Now Asajj is going first before countdown. Mm -hmm. um, so now you've got to leverage your ability to bump countdown or quick draw a little bit better, but at the same time you're not going to have as much information of where to put that mobile arc. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll say still, keep it in the back of your minds, look at this next move possibility of either dropping a rigged cargo chute mm -hmm. or using your uh, your slam, your burnout slam. So uh, I anticipate yeah, I, either I of those see, two things happening I right could now. see a two hard turn or a three hard turn into a rigged cargo chute deployment. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, clear the stress, drop that thing. Um, I mean, actually, if, if you're going to say to get a crit, that might actually be the best crit that, that Asajj could have taken. Um, getting to go first now gives that you so much true. flexibility. Depending on how that rig cargo shoot ends up going, mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could, if Quick Draw tries to do like a sloop maneuver here, mm -hmm. and uh, double stress, that's that could be all she wrote. You still have push the limit. I mean, you can get that arc wherever you want it to go. Yep, so. and then you could even triple stress Quick Draw on that one round. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you could stress both of them. You, I mean, uh, it just depends what happens with Thweek, but yeah. well, that, I uh, anticipate that happening, but mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see. Uh, the hard I mean, part I is she's got to do the three hard turn in order mm -hmm. to clear the stress that she's got. Yeah. Um, so that's where it could come into play where it might be a little too far mm -hmm. to hit countdown, but the rig cargo mm -hmm. shoot is a pretty large obstacle token. Yeah. Really clog that area right up. It would force the Imperial players to have to go through mm -hmm. uh, through the rocks. Yeah, that's, unless they turn into it. That's what I see happening here. A three, hard turn, drop the rig cargo, push the limit into uh, turning your turret behind you. 
mm -hmm. and then uh, push a, an additional stress on whoever's there. That that shot by countdown really helped out uh, Psycho though. So what do you what do you anticipate here? And by the way, uh, opening up to chat here too. Uh, um, what you know what kind of you know things are you seeing? Um, also, we've got two two folks that uh, that have show their support of their players. If there anybody else is uh, showing support of, uh, of either of these two players, I'd love to see see that. I'd love to hear that. Um. All right. Scum dials are down. I think uh, I think Thweek stays with another nice little one forward and, and barrel rolls to the needed position. Mm -hmm. um, that's just Thweek's strong suit right now is yeah. moving last and putting yourself in, the, in just the perfect spot. Um, the Imperials, they're going to have it rough this turn, trying to find uh, the best place to go, um, especially if he's thinking about this red cargo. Hopefully he hasn't forgotten about it, because um, that uh, that can end your day pretty quick when, uh, mm -hmm. like, that happens a lot with bombs. Um, not as much now, they're more prevalent, but uh, back in the day, uh, you'd forget that another player had bombs or something to drop behind them. Mm-hmm because it's been 11 rounds now and uh, nothing's come out of their backside yet but uh, mm -hmm. I would like time. to see um, a I, I'd like to see it happen with uh, quick draw getting a chance to do his, uh, his little double tap kind of thing <laughs> uh, when you get both in arc I mean there's a chance that that could happen this next turn yeah. uh, I feel like that that would be kind of fun to watch S41 um, not one that jinx the comeback I understand that completely <laughs> I do fly mostly Imperials, so um, I'm uh, I'm kind of like, oh, how, how can Psycho pull this out? But at the same time, um, as an independent viewer <laughs> and commentator, um, I I can I can see that this is going in Reinhard, Reinhardt's favor. Um, I think it's in his court to lose at this uh, at this juncture if he can capitalize on this turn. If he can drop that rig cargo in just the right spot, get some key shots in here, um, blow up another ship, that that should spell mm -hmm. the end. But I, I, then again, yeah, I've lost quick know. draw to, to Zeb in a TIE fighter, so who knows? <laughs> who knows what could happen? Uh, you're, That's you're, the thing. I mean, think about count, that last countdown shot could countdown, come in. Yep, right? That was the I mean, key clutch uh, yeah. hero doing the damage for the Imperials mm -hmm. on that last round. And it's that supposed was to be huge. the filler ship. That was you huge. Know? Yeah, that move, um, or that, that attack there w was really big in getting mm -hmm. a chance to, uh, I mean, just uh, to winding hit a defense down health. Massage. Just winding down health the way this game has gone. Yep. <laughs> Psycho's Countdown, always the MVP. Uh, yeah, th some people just know how to leverage filler ships. What mm -hmm. other people just put in there just as like, well, I have some points left. Mm -hmm. I'll just put in this guy. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes that turns into the clutch ship of the match. Mm -hmm. Reinhardt trying to get the the other dials down. Oh, I like that uh, S S four one X S forty one X Psycho's countdown is always the MVP. Very nice. Well, we're seeing it work now. We're mm -hmm. seeing it. Seeing I it mean, go. if Countdown can make it to the end game. Uh, and Asajj gets off the board. Yeah, it's going to be hard to knife fight, but at least Countdown can leverage that ability four different times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then you don't have the worry about getting stressed mm -hmm. um, by Asajj. I mean, I think that would be the biggest thing for Psycho here is get Asajj off the board. Um, and, uh, and I think Countdown could do it here. And there's that hard right three we were talking about. And let's see if uh, we I get a drop. See oh my goodness! The rig cargo it's just shoots. scrumptious. It's a scrumptious mm. spot mm. for it. Countdown oh. dodging. Yep. Probably going a little bit too early. Oh, yep. A little bit too early. Reinhardt said hold. But at least hey, it, at least it cleared. But quick yep. draw has no hope of clearing. Well, countdown, countdown, just uh. uh Countdown definitely has that aileron to get him out of there. All right, man, that debris field. Mm -hmm. Kind of pigeonholes <sighs> Countdown into uh, into that mm -hmm. right bank. Yeah, I mean, he, let's see what Psycho does.
does here. He might have called that, you know, called that move and has a way around it. Let's hope, but, uh, I mean, Quick Draw can still use it as an obstacle to, uh, to get that extra green die. Mm -hmm. So it, it might be all right. As long as you don't take the crit going over it and it turns out to be a nasty one, it might be all right. Yeah, I mean, there, can't, Quick Draw does have a hard one. It may clear, but it's red anyway, so either way, you're getting a stress if uh, yeah, I well, even dialed that in. Yeah, well, then you're probably just going to bump and land on <laughs> the Yeah, and then you might get so. the double. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, then you'd be triple stressed because that uh, mobile mm -hmm. arc turned uh, behind. <laughs> what are you debating? Where <laughs> I want to die? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes Psycho. And there's the uh, the bank to the right. Okay, so no shots left. for countdown this round. Probably just trying to regroup here. Well, trying to avoid that obstacle for sure. Well, just the uh, the one bank to the right, unless mm -hmm. he was thinking of maybe doing the ailerons to the left uh, in general. Oh, okay, and there's uh, obstruction there. Good thing is quick draw still gets to shoot. And actually, Asajj depending on where that closest point to closest point ends up no crit might be range one it might uh, it might not even be obstructed oh I see what you're saying yeah mm -hmm. it's possible we'll find out soon and here's the uh, weak it's probably range behind. two quick draw shields are gone so uh, no revenge shot so whatever happens mm -hmm. it's gonna happen and uh got a little kill box here for uh for quick draw. Mm -hmm. um, only Thweek has the target lock up, but I foresee a focus coming out. No need mm -hmm. to do a funky barrel roll with uh, Thweek this round. Yeah. yeah, range one shot there for sure. Psycho explaining, he was just trying to think about is it worth it to bump the ships, his own ships together, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. maybe to hopefully get out of that obstacle. Yeah. Or get a maybe get a chance to get a shot with countdown. All that being said, and uh, stressing QD with Asash, and now quick drop, double stressed. Yep. Uh, it's all up to the dice at this point. Could still get mm -hmm. out of here. It's possible. With this some is a rough some spot. evades coming through. Mm -hmm. Links on reds, evades on greens. Mm-hmm. All right, Reinhardt says fire away. Quick draw does shoot first. Mm -hmm. I think I, if you're quick draw, you're definitely going for a uh, for a uh, Saj here. Yeah, I mean Thweek's not a great one to knife fight later anyway, but you got to take that large ship off. That stress dealing mechanic is just really uh, kind of allowed her to stay alive, and the double mm -hmm. stress uh, potential for countdown, shutting down countdown's ability, everything just. Uh, mm -hmm kind of gets hit by those stress mechanics that, uh, as I was mentioning when we were talking about the list at the initial mm -hmm. setup, um, yeah. it just gets nasty for Imperial Aces. Yeah, big time. And uh, and it's interesting, too, the way they kind of were jockeying for position there at the beginning of the mm -hmm. game. Uh, we didn't see the stress mechanic go off until, you know, halfway through where we are now. All right, here comes a roll. We got a hit. And a crit and a focus. No focus token. Spent, so that focus. spent the target lock. Mm -hmm. Spent the FCS target lock. Here comes Asajj. With obstruction. He's calling the obstruction here. I, don't I guess know they, if either they, one they probably has need to measured. check it. I haven't seen uh, the That is tool. something pretty cool that Vassal has mm -hmm. uh, been able to get going on here. Oh, here we go. I saw it. Mm -hmm. So it is obstructed. Muon being able to uh, code that in properly mm -hmm. makes things uh, a lot easier to just judge accurately. And we have two evades there. Saj Speaks will turn. Be safe, and here comes some unanswered shots. We do have an obstruction as well on this shot, so four v four on quick draw. There's some blanks. Oh, quick wow. draw! Love to see those. Lock, target lock coming. And still not it's the greatest, no, that's, that's but it's not available. Bad, though. It's available. Two. 
and yeah. it's absurd. Ooh. Ooh. That's All not gonna do it. Two hits and a crit. <laughs> right, right. Reinhardt uh, used the uh, time when during uh, the and activation it's a phase. Direct hit, so mm -hmm. a little overkill there. I think Psycho gave uh, Reinhardt enough time to go out and sacrifice a goat to the dice gods <laughs> while he was debating whether to bump his own ships. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Next shot. 3v3 on quick draw. Uh, now quick, or countdown, excuse me. Uh, can't, quick draw is dead. Ability is activated on countdown. But, you get to roll, so you might evade it straight out. You got an evade mm -hmm. token, you just gotta re-roll, or roll one. Mm -hmm. And they evaded. Countdown is. is evaded it. Countdown. If you are the clutch ship that uh, S41X has claimed mm -hmm. you to be, this is the time. This is the time to shine. Right here. That being said, you don't outscore any of the ships point-wise, so you have to destroy both of them in seven turns. Alright, so... We're we going got a little... Uh, we got more Ditro uh, coming in with uh, Long Live the Rebellion. <laughs> Which are, you might see, notice as not being present here. Yep. Um, both players not trusting those scummy Rebellion oh. ships. <laughs> the rebel scum. Alright. Countdown, trying to save the dream. My last seven turns of meaningful <laughs> first edition. Uh, both players getting a good good chance to talk. There's still store back champs to go through. Psycho, don't get too uh, too <laughs> uneasy about it. You might get some more in. I may have done some already. All right, I'd love to see a little clutch work here by Countdown. If he could stay at range three mm -hmm. of uh, Saj, would be great. Or at least stay out of that mobile arc there. Should be easy to do, as uh, Saj is kind of going the other direction. Mm -hmm. For this turn. You probably... I don't see a, a huge reason to run away with Countdown at this point. I think you can thread through those rocks and even no, have debris like I, there. Like I was saying, you have, you have seven turns to go. You have mm -hmm. to kill both ships. You need to be shooting every turn. Yep. Um, yep. Doesn't matter if it puts you in a bad spot or not. Mm -hmm. Countdown... You should be. You can deal with a couple bad shots. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully, we, countdown can get some punishing attacks in Assage here. Yeah, if you can leverage the arcs well enough um, and not get shot twice um, mm -hmm. with big. Uh, Look big at that reds. move! I like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's we got, needed. We got the aileron to boost forward a little bit, get you in a really nice position to, to cut through the rocks to... either way. Banking and uh, can still barrel roll. Uh, probably yep. won't have arc though, no matter where Thweek wants to barrel roll. I would say th if Thweek barrel roll, is probably going to go left just to stay as far out of arc as possible. Mm -hmm. Get countdown to have either a long range shot or no shot at all. Uh, potentially no shot at all. I think countdown's out of range of Asajj. And uh, with Thweek's barrel, barrel roll, with Thweek's barrel roll, that could put Thweek out as well. Those strikers, though, are faster than a lot of people give mm -hmm. them credit for. They can close gaps pretty quick with those ailerons. Yep. Just because uh, the three is the fastest straight on the dial, um, mm -hmm. with those ailerons, you can go essentially a five forward. He's lining up that barrel roll here. Going you all see, the, uh... the rock probably, and then uh, making it nice and easy to bank after him next turn. I know we haven't got shots going, but... What do you think from Asajj? You think Asajj tries to go around those rocks, or I mean, I mean, I'm I'm anticipating just a just get in there, do a hard turn to the right. Yeah, or do you I think would, he sets up for the longer game here? No, I would agree. Uh, your long game um, is definitely going to go in your favor anyway. So mm -hmm. if you're going for the kill and you're going for blood, um, you need a hard turn in. Mm -hmm. While running is probably Ooh, be catch tactical. A Catch a squeak, no obstruction. 
Mm -hmm. Three versus four with Barely a focus. In range three. And not Two the hits. greatest, but it could go through. That's alright. And there it is. Uh, and auto thrusters, one damage, that yep. shield's gone. Still, hey, you got something. <laughs> Any got damage something is good there. damage at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Snipe, Psycho says, <laughs> sniped him. <laughs> sniped him with a pellet gun. Yeah, he got, he got it in. Something's better than nothing at this point. Countdown needs to get anything <laughs> he can get. And we're back to dials. Um... I mean, while running is probably the right tactically sound option as far as winning goes, I don't think you're in much of a threat of losing, so if you want to get in and shoot, then you want to have both ships firing, because Countdown mm -hmm. can only trigger that ability once a turn, or if Asajj can get close enough and yeah. get that mobile arc turn pointed it off. the right way, yeah, you just shut it down and then blow them up. I mean, the mobile arc's already pointed. I mean, you, you're basically getting a chance here to... Yeah, but if you hard turn, it. it might it might be out a little too far. Um, with those ailerons yeah. of that bar barrel roll, he could mm -hmm. uh, stay out of it if you don't turn it. That's true. But if you do turn it, maybe now you've turned it the right wrong way. So it's mm -hmm. uh, you got to have a little bit of foresight and uh, correctly kind of judge what's going to happen here. If you're uh, if you're countdown, which way are you going? I go after. You got both Asajj. the ailerons. Well, so which way? How are you going to engage that? You got both the ailerons and the move to think about here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Asajj can has pushed the limit, so that three turn, turn the arc, and then focus or target lock. I mean, that's that's probably what we're gonna see. Um, but either way, you've you've got to get Asajj off the table. She's just that stress uh, mechanic as well as because the PS0 isn't bothered by that at all. Mm -hmm. um, you just you need to get the big threat off the table, which I th I think is Asajj. Um, Thweek's gonna be hard to pin down later, but I mean it's kind here's of like the, here's going the hard after three. A, a Phantom or anything like that. Mm -hmm. is, uh, it's tough to tough to make the right call in that funky this is where that, for sure. Yeah, this is where that P PS0 comes in handy because now Countdown can decide mm -hmm. if uh, barrel rolling will get it out of that mobile arc or not. Well, he's got the. Uh, I think he can definitely do it if he banks one mm -hmm. with the uh, with his ailerons. Um, even goes hard, you know, straight in at Asajj. Um, he can definitely get out of at least the mobile arc. But you it know, depends on where that dial's pointed as well, though. Um, yeah. You might as long as you left yourself that option. That's great, but uh, mm -hmm. otherwise. Psycho trying to gauge probably where to throw those ailerons. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, he's if he's got a straight dialed in, he should be fine to go aileron to the right, go mm -hmm. straight, barrel roll out of that uh, mobile arc. There's the there's the aileron. Oh, oh man, what a good flying! Look at that in the mobile oh, arc. Man, so it's going to shut down your your ability. So is, if Thuy called that, that could be it. Oh, look oh, at that. There's the barrel roll to the right. So you're wow. not going to have any tokens, but you're not going to have the stress, so your ability will be active. Mm -hmm. Thweak, hard to, hard but with two. that barrel roll, can still get shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to turn mm -hmm. that thing to the left. Yep. Get that arc pointed left right at backward. countdown. The key is hopefully he can avoid the shot from Thweak. And then only have to use his ability from Asajj's range one shot. That's that's kind of the dream here, I think. Yeah. Um, so, no target locks or uh, anything right now. Spending the mm -hmm. action on the barrel roll. So, me which I think was the right shots. move. It was the right move. Oh, well, you you want to get more guns on target? Mm -hmm. Even if they're uh, unmodified. I mean, yeah. your red dice have better results on the green dice, especially mm -hmm. since uh, Countdown doesn't have mods for the greens. Except his, his ability one time. One time. That's all he's got. Alright, 3v3. <laughs> <laughs> he says you'll roll two natty evades. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, it, man. Not three if you need natural three. hits. Three natural hits here. And there's two evades. Okay. So those are the so two he... that uh, Reinhardt calls two natural evades. Mm -hmm. 
And he doesn't need to use his ability, so no, that you might as well just take the one. one. I mean, it's not the greatest. You won't, don't want to take any, of course, but it saves your ability for well, a solid here's shot. Hit two crits. Lots Razi is not in effect. There's no way he can use lots. Oh, but okay. two evades and Ooh. the token. Okay. Yep. So but that keeps Asajj safe. It does, but and it also takes away all the mods for Asajj shots. So we're down to natural rolls, which that's a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. Can be evaded and has the ability uh, potential. And there's two. So do two. you do you use the ability to dodge the crits? Taking yeah, a stress. I would say definitely. Take a stress, but the crit oh, could true. be nothing. You know. You can't. Well, you can't. The reality is, you can't use your ailerons next turn, anyways. So you might as well. You can clear um, it. You. Oh well, no, that's right true. Now you can. They're actors. Sage goes first. You might get to use the ailerons. Well, it's uh, the ailerons are a maneuver, so you can bump with them. Mm-hmm. He's calling no ability. All right. Taking mm -hmm. the taking the crit. And it's thrust control fry, which is a stress. So essentially, it's the same thing. He immediately <laughs> takes a stress, and then the damage card gets flipped over. Essentially, the mm -hmm. same thing <laughs> as his ability, anyway. Yeah. Uh, some irony right here. Yeah, both uh, both are laughing about it. They they both mm. say LOL. <laughs> I'm sure Reinhardt was uh, hope hoping for that uh, major explosion into major explosion into direct yeah. hit. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's uh, not the way it's going. Yeah. <laughs> Two hit left. Two hits left on countdown here. So that ability is only going to trigger one more time anyway. Really could have used some damage on that turn. But uh, I don't know. There's just not really a lot of great ways to mm -hmm. do this. Countdown can't turn around. No ailerons. I mean, if you're a Saj, you just go one straight and bump him. I mean... I mean, Countdown has a three available, so if oh, you bump, three you bank. can't, you can't, well, there's a three straight, I'm, I'm saying, I mean, you can't, oh, bank. yeah, oh, okay, three I'm bank. just saying Asajj's oh, going three bank, okay. <laughs> sorry. thought you were talking through uh, Countdown's options. No, Yeah, no. I think uh, Countdown just gets out um, at this mm -hmm. point, you, you're not, if you're not going to have a shot, you might as well get as far away as possible. Mm -hmm. There's three forward, clear the stress, take a token, and uh, get out of there. Yeah, still gonna get some shots here by Asajj. You can survive. I mean, you can use your survive ability one more this, time. But... Um, mm -hmm. He has good green dice and an evade token. Yep. Thweek, though, Thweek able to get just in gonna a knife fight. Roll left. Mm -hmm. I, I see a range one barrel roll here. Yeah. Range yep. one shot. There it is. Uh, that being said, it, it could still be out of Thweek's arc here. It just depends where he sets that thing. Mm -hmm. If it goes all the way back, should be fine. Should have a, a good shot. But uh, if you go too far forward, mm -hmm. and there it is. Yep. That looks like range one there. I mean, you know, he's still got the ability. Mm -hmm. he, he definitely got rid of the stress suit. It's going to take both ships to finish it this turn. Yeah, you've got to get a hit going mm -hmm. through on both shots. Major Juggler says you won't even need evade tokens in 2.0. <laughs> they can only change results, not mm -hmm. add, so if you just roll natties, it won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Putting things in perspective again, yep. Major. Nice. Did dodge, barely dodge the Sazer's stress, so his mm -hmm. ability is active. Yep. And uh, he's going to need it. Oh, and two hits and a crit. Yep. Target lock and into he re-rolls. Yeah, re-rolls into Even that second Even if you get three, that, that might spell the end. And there well, it is. Reality is using... Going through. Uh, yep, he's going to use his ability here. No, nah, I think no. he's calling it. He's just call it. Yeah, definitely a good game by both. Uh, we see GG by mm -hmm. both players there. Yeah, could use oh. the ability, but then you're not going to turn around next turn either. And, you know, at a certain point, you're just prolonging the inevitable. Um, yeah. Still, I, I like the decision to go ahead and try with Countdown for a couple rounds, see what happens. You never know. Dice can go your way. This is a game of dice, and uh, 
sometimes chance can turn things around more than you ever think possible. I will say, uh, if you're in the chat there, throw out your favorite moment of the game. Anything that uh, anything that you thought was was interesting or, or something you, you noticed or, mm -hmm. or maybe one of your favorite players did something, uh, throw it out there so we can uh, we can talk about that. I think where things really kind of snowball started to snowball a little bit is Kylo's K-turn um, at the bottom of the map. It was very unexpected. It was, a, it was out of what we were thinking he was going to do. Um, and probably also out of what Reinhardt thought Psycho was going to do, mm -hmm. but um, just being that little bit out of arc on the Drew, just being out of arc on everybody mm -hmm. else, like um, just those millimeters, those pixels, um, really kind of spelled the the end. I think a little bit early. It just didn't show itself for a while. Um, then Kylo was in a kind of a spot he couldn't get out of, even though he tried very close. Mm -hmm. Um, he almost made it, but uh, that one maneuver kind of led to a couple turns of just, what do you do? You took a risk and it, it, and it didn't pay off, but sometimes those risks uh, do, and it's just so much uh, for the better. So, you gotta take yeah. a chance every once in a while. Uh, more, I did, I did like that. Um, that K turn because, like I said, it definitely was unexpected, it, and it and it set him up for a nice position. But it was the turn after for sure that definitely, definitely hurt. But that um, it's always hard to get hit by that mm -hmm. harpoon and get those five natural hits. Um, definitely a chance to kind of keep you on tilt there a little bit. But uh, I see more. Dietro said, "I love the quick draw sloop and the countdown K turn." Yeah, uh, another set of unpredicted moves that uh, at least we weren't thinking of and I, I don't think Reinhardt called them either um, you know you when you start flying some of your crafty ships that are trying to get actions and, and stay mm -hmm. away from massage and you start doing red moves with them that can take people by surprise and it did put him in some good positions unfortunately his dice weren't able to capitalize on it um, without having the mods no advanced mm -hmm. optics on quick draw no uh, missile on quick draw no advanced mm -hmm. optics on Kylo um, and just trying to pull points here and there um, to get countdown in the game while I think countdown was a great addition um, I, I think it, it slowly kind of helped chip away mm -hmm. at Psycho's list um, because he wasn't able to take full advantage of those ace ships. Yeah, I mean, the, the benefit to it, though, uh, got both ships next to each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though you didn't have the modded dice, you still had that, uh, that opportunity to keep those ships uh, with kind of some focused fire there. Um, I, I thought that was a, a great move uh, myself. Um, it was the turn after again that where Reinhardt kind of capitalized. He was able to drop that, uh, mm -hmm. drop that stress debris, and that just kind of, again, another moment where just kind of things snowballed a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I did appreciate um, at the beginning of the match there we were thinking about how are these asteroids going to be used. Um, you know when we when we saw turn zero happening, um, and. I mean, I, I was thinking maybe there's going to be a lot of action up in that top left corner where there was yeah, no debris, that, but... there was almost zero. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they were starting to go there towards the end of the match, but other than mm -hmm. that, they kind of stayed away from that area. Saj, able to, to try to weave herself through, she hit that mm -hmm. one rock, but uh, other than that, um, the only thing that got hit was that uh, really well-placed well rig cargo chute. Um, that was also something that uh, just lined up right at the perfect timing. You got that PS0 mm -hmm. crit. Nobody could have called that one. You know, it's yeah. not like you had Kyloed the damage cockpit on there. So, <laughs> I mean, you didn't know it was coming, but it worked out at such the perfect timing. Um, I think Quick Draw maybe stays alive if that didn't happen. Um, mm -hmm. So, but it, it shows. It definitely shows the skill level. Both players, of course, seeing seeing how they can interweave in in, in between those mm -hmm. like you know rocks no big deal right yeah just go in in and out of them um, when that lancer craft has quite yeah. a few maneuvers um, to try to get around and maneuver through those um, I mean she still took the the more larger gaps you know she didn't fight kind of up in the um, top section where things get a little bit closer mm -hmm. um, she stayed down towards the bottom where the rocks are a little more spread out, giving you a little bit of leeway. Um, 
So. Well, I'm being able to keep that uh, that mobile arc mm -hmm. pointed the same direction, not having to change it, being able to use push a limit for other abilities uh, definitely added to uh, uh, to the chance for, for Reinhardt to kind of keep that pressure on with Asajj, keep the stress on, um, and, and both of those things uh, kind of kept kept that momentum, like I said, going, mm -hmm. going in Reinhardt's favor there. Um, but yeah. still, uh, countdown. We had had a call by S41X there with uh, with countdown being being the hero there. Uh, definitely had that nice shot at the end. I, oh, yeah. I appreciated that uh, that attack there. Um, kind of kind of cleaned up a little bit of that round that looked like it was going Reinhardt's way, and then all of a sudden we see four uh, four hits come through with uh, with countdown. Yeah, the dice uh, as far as um, Lady Luck, which is a uh website that lets you put in your vassal log and it kind of goes through and parses through the uh, die results uh, just to give you kind of what what averages would expect you to get and what you actually rolled. Um, the average kind of skewed towards um, in their favor for both players. They were uh, kind of meeting some of the expectations after uh, re-rolls after a while but at the beginning um, I mean they came out strong so I think that skewed it a little bit where it doesn't look as bad as it should have towards the end. That some of those hard-hitting attacks at the beginning, and then just uh, overall those those middle sections where just no damage was really getting through. Um, there were hits and evades being rolled. It wasn't like there was just blanks, blanks, blanks everywhere. Um, but I, I think both players kind of had a little bit of poor luck uh, towards the middle, but it kind of evened out. Uh, Morb Dietro says here, uh, no advantic, advanced optics hurt on uh, on quick draw. Um, I mean, I, I definitely definitely agree with that. I could see uh, what you're saying there. I think, I mean, it's always nice to have advanced mm -hmm. optics on quick draw. I mean, that's just storing that focus and being able to use your your uh, your abilities, uh, your actions for other things is always helpful. But you know, that countdown. I mean, I mean, it, it's a much better ship than throwing in a TIE fighter mm -hmm. a lot of times so I mean uh, yeah, I think, the way uh, he was able to manipulate those advanced ailerons and, and make his turns um, I, yeah. I would much rather be able to fly an extra ship like that than, than maybe something that only has a barrel roll or um, or an prime. evade token mm -hmm. S41 bringing up prime thrusters so he could still be barrel mm -hmm. rolling even while yep. stressed um, yep. just trying to get out of predicaments like uh, quick draw sometimes found himself in that mm -hmm. would have been a big help I think countdown also getting a little more engaged towards the beginning you can tank some of those large shots while you're and keep your aces safe because you're the juicier target um, I think uh, if countdown maybe had gotten engaged a little bit sooner um, instead of trying trying to treat him as a fragile ace um, might have protected Countdown or uh, Quick Draw and Kylo a little bit more. Um, instead, they were taking the punishment uh, because, well, what do I do? Do I take a not great shot on Kylo or a not great shot on Countdown, who I'm not really worried about? He's not coming at me. Um, but if you keep him coming in um, and trying to hit hard, hit fast, uh, I think I think you make Countdown into a target that has to go down at some point, or he's going <laughs> to end up doing too much damage. Um, Got to leverage some of these filler ships uh, to their fullest potential. Yeah, I mean, if, if you can get prime thrusters on quick draws, definitely a great way to do it. Just got to mm -hmm. find a way to shave that point in. Yeah, I don't know what you take off for that. I mean, uh, the the lightweight frames came in to play a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot, yeah. So I think if you shave those off and now you're all of a sudden um, able to get... Uh, prime thrusters that's nice but at the same time you get an extra green die uh, which for all these uh, attack dice coming at quick draw and countdown is much needed yeah so what is uh, what's next for these guys um, we see that they're doing mm -hmm. uh, so Reinhardt's going to move first on round to the finals um, okay. and then uh, I believe uh Double check the list or uh, the players here, so I don't get them wrong. Um, 
Vander Legion, yes, Vander Legion and Paul Heaver trying to get a, a time scheduled. Um, hopefully it's at a time that we can stream it, um, otherwise I think uh, they might have uh, Gold Stra Squadron step in if they're able, because um, I, I mean, I at least, while I appreciate the honor of streaming, if, if I can't do it, I, I, I do think that it's better just to get the game recorded, um, just for people that want to watch, learn, see what they can get from some of these top-notch players. Um, so we'll see when they get that uh, set up, and then we will hopefully see you guys then for that. Um, Vassal League will be back uh, for the next season after 2.0 is launched, um, so don't uh, don't worry too much about that. Just enjoy your store champ season. Um, try to get uh, try out some lists maybe you've been holding back on from 1.0 because <laughs> soon you won't be able to try those anymore. Um, I know for me, I'm pulling out Echo who I loved for so long but got pushed down out of the meta so far but now everybody's just experimenting everybody's just having mm -hmm. a great time doing flying what they want to fly and instead of trying to fly what's the best and the strongest so it's a good time to just get out some of the ships that maybe has been uh, collecting some dust that you just been itching to fly but you know they're not the most competitive um, and definitely get out on. there and try to fly some arc ships too. Try to get mm -hmm. some. If you've been kind of relying on turrets or turreted ships, uh, you know, just try to get out there, fly even a lancer craft. Uh, you know, if you're gonna think about flying a, a big base uh, ship, uh, you know, that has a turret, um, maybe maybe fly the lancer a little bit. Get a feel for how those mobile arcs might work in second edition. Um, but but definitely get out there and try some of those those arc ships to. To make sure that you're prepared once 2.0 comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, S41, uh, thanks for that. We really appreciate it. It's, it's been fun, uh, uh, you know, getting a chance to do this. And like uh, like Jeff said, an honor uh, to be able to stream this for uh, for you guys and for the players of the Vassal League. Uh, just an honor to be able to stream this. So so thanks for that, and thanks more, Beatro. Um, have a great night, you guys. Uh, uh, and we look forward to doing this more. Uh, we're going to look forward to trying to do this uh, throughout the league next year as well. Um, but uh, definitely glad to do it for the playoffs here. Um, and congratulations, I want to throw out to uh, to Reinhardt. Great victory. A great flying. Mm -hmm. uh, to a Psycho as well. Um, great great season on Vassal. Uh, congrats to, to making it to top four. And, uh, and again, great job flying as well. Uh, so thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. All right, guys, and I will be back to uh, more regularly stream um, uh, schedule come uh, probably mid-September. Um, so look for me around then as well. Um, I stream some of my own matches. Um, granted, I'm I'm no deep core player, but I uh, I try to live commentate my own thoughts as I'm playing. So hopefully there's something to glean from that, or at least a different point of view when you're thinking um, to yourself about uh, how things are looking. Sometimes you can. Just remember that your opponent is thinking some of those same thoughts. Oh man, mm -hmm. uh, if I should have just done this, and they're they're in their own heads about things. So um, I know that that's been mentioned on uh, a couple occasions when I ask people for feedback um, and when they rewatch our matches. So um, uh, keep in mind that that's going on. Hit that follow so you are updated whenever I'm going live. Um, and uh, if you do miss anything. Uh, it's going to be up on YouTube, my own run through the Vassal League. I've done four seasons of it. Uh, named it Course for the Core because I set myself a goal to get into the core section and, and made it. So, nice um, job. If you're, thank you. If you are <laughs> uh, looking for just uh, somebody's kind of story as they go through uh, a league like this, which lets you play on your time, your schedule, play what you want, when you want, um, the Vassal League is a great way to go, so um, I would encourage everybody to join up and sign up for the next season. Um, once also, a huge, huge shout out to Earthworm and all the guys that run that league uh, and keep Vassal up and going. Oh yeah, uh, Muon, you yeah. do amazing things with all the coding <laughs> that you put into this, all the mm -hmm. work. Make sure everybody that you get on and uh, throw him a couple bucks. He works very hard and uh, long hours trying to get all this as perfect as he can for everybody. He's actually reworking the whole thing. Um, for second edition, found out that some of the d bases and stuff are um, just a little micrometers off um, from perfect squares when you buy <laughs> FFG product, and so he's going to be bringing that into uh, second edition and making sure that everything's um, right where it needs to be. Um, so putting in a lot of time, a lot of effort, so 
Um, doesn't have to be much, but but try to show them some appreciation. It's a lot of work, um, and it's something that I know I couldn't do. So uh, that's it, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Sci-Fighter out. Have a great night.